Hello, hello. It is Monday and it is time for Collector's Figure Season 3, Episode 13. Mind the background here. It's a mess behind me, so I'm just going to like not show it as much as I can here. But we are going to talk about some hot toy stuff that angered me, by the way. So I'm gonna, we're going to be discussing that later. Um, some third party stuff, uh, a little bit of in art, a little bit of jazz ink. Let's, uh, yeah, we'll be discussing it all pretty much today. But to do that with me right now is Blue Tattoo, Michael Elliott, and Loco Michelangelo. <laughs> <laughs> What's poppin', people? A little under the weather, but I'm good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. Hello, hello, hello. I'm, I'm wondering what made you mad. Yeah, well, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, it better be a rant attached, attached oh, to this. I'm, I'm it's, I want to hear some bitching, the, bro. I'm partisans in the... Yeah, Fartisan. I like that. I like that new new term, Fartisan. <laughs> I still. How you guys doing? doing? How good. you guys? Good, good. How's everybody in the stream world today? Hello, everyone. Good to see you guys. Good to see everyone. Yes, thanks for watching, Commander Green. Commander Green, Green, Green. Come through. Yeah, man. Um, tonight, uh, Monday nights are have become the night and I, I really feel that uh folks who are saying that we were grabbing all the attention because mm -hmm. i i'm hearing there's a couple other uh people who are coming back on streaming and one of them is going <laughs> it's good i'm going to come back to monday nights hey join the party everybody else is <laughs> mm -hmm. well, hey, join the party the, the, I, I say this there's room for everybody and everybody yeah pick and choose uh, who oh, they yeah. want to watch and see it's no different than anything you see on television um yeah. unfortunately back in the day we didn't have streaming so you had to pick and choose which one grabbed your eye it was like wrestling mm -hmm. was i gonna sit through and watch wcw or was i gonna watch raw if i was gonna raw. watch raw you know <laughs> it had to be a good story it had to be a good story or if it's uh let's say saturday ca cartoons i would have my mother record one episode on one TV on a different channel while I'm watching another. And it was it was good because the it's the TV with the VCR attached to it. Yeah. For those old school ones. So you could record what you was watching. So man, that VHS tape was ran to high hell, bro. It was <laughs> ran to high hell. And let me tell you, I had so many episodes of Turtles recorded, so many episodes of Thundercats, and um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, uh, Batman, the animated series, and Spider-Man. It was hard to catch up. But when you start seeing reruns of episodes you already saw, it made it even easier. It's just yeah. when both of them were showing reruns, it's like, oh, I don't watch that. I want to watch it yeah. again. But here, it's a little different. So, But you can always catch the replay. That's the beautiful part. You can catch the replay. And leave mm -hmm. a comment if you want to be a part of the whole conversation because that's what it's there for. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Yeah, man. So, uh, anybody got anything new? <laughs> Just about uh, to say that. <laughs> you about to say that? Sorry. Yeah. Just, just just hijacking Beeb show. Damn, Loco. Well, no, I thought he was No, 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 no. You don't have to apologize. No, I don't have to apologize. It's his show. Well, yeah. As we start off every week, do we have anything new? Uh, No, but I will declare she ain't going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually this is actually going to be a permanent spot for her because I'm going to start lining my chicks up. This is going to be Babe <laughs> Row right here, man. I swear, I am so glad I don't listen to half of <laughs> half of the reviewers, man, because she is baller, bro. I don't care if you hate her or not, and please hate Mantis because there's too many people that want her. You guys got to hate on her for me so I can get her at least by next year. But, uh, <laughs> no, I, uh, I've been trying to, I've been trying to hone it a bit. You know, I, um, I, I, I don't want to spend too much on a lot of small figures. And then they wound up going in the boxes where a six scale would probably get priority. 
Mm. Although I do have some of my six scale put away because I, I just can't keep everything out. I when I when I finally do my room tour, you guys are probably gonna see a third of what I got, really, because I can't put everything out. That's what but, you uh, but no, uh, I didn't get anything new, but I, I'm focusing, like I said, I'm focusing on the babes right now. Doesn't mean a, a, a male figure won't pop through, but I'm, I'm pretty energized. I want to I wanna hook her up. I just want bad chicks. Boom, boom, <laughs> boom, boom, boom. boom. So that's that's what I'm shooting for for the remainder of 2024. Who's next? <laughs> All right. Uh, I think I got the least uh, besides Mike having none. Um, I got, uh, what was it, Black Adam. He came in last week. If you guys saw, I uh, was on uh, Brother Cousins on Best of the Best. And uh, I unboxed it there. I put him in a pose, and I have him in a forever pose, and I have him next to my nightstand. So he he's there. So whenever I'm like, all right, my daughter needs a nightlight, I put that bad boy on, and he's just like lighting up. <laughs> I'm just looking at you like, you know, and awesome. yeah. that that head sculpt is a nine point eight. I'm telling you, it, it, it's a great head sculpt, and it has purrs. Bald guy with purrs. Come on, why why you doing me dirt on Mace Windu's? Right. Why you doing me dirt <laughs> Isn't that weird, man? They, they yeah, it's almost like they pick and choose. Yeah, they pick and choose, man. And it There's is no reason why Athena shouldn't have rolling eyeballs. Mm. Oh Can no, I? there's plenty of reason. There's plenty of reason why she doesn't have it. Oh, never mind. You finish it. Like, keep <laughs> off of me, and you finish your little show. And tell. You had your mic. You hey, Lou, go ahead. Hey, Lou, why don't you go ahead and finish your little show and tell? It's, 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 it, yeah, exactly. You know, <laughs> let, me, let me finish what I got in the mail. I'm, I'm sorry. I, 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 you're right. I did interrupt. Go ahead. <laughs> and then I got the man himself on the throne. Yeah, buddy. King Conan. This is a... Uh, uh, mitten box the box is still in great condition um big shout out to uh the seller on ebay who uh gave me an even bigger box with tons of tons of paper in it to protect this bad boy uh because obviously he doesn't know that i'm a guy that I don't care if it's out of the box or not I just wanted all the accessories but uh got this for a great deal and um this is like one of those pieces that I'm going to take so, him out. I, I'm gonna get that and put um the Mezco Conan, King Conan, when he comes uh in from Mezco, and I'm gonna put him in this for a couple of shots. And nice. um obviously because you know he's posable, he has different armament compared to this. And then once I'm done with that, just put him back on the shelf and have this figure still there because this still has that McFarlane appeal. This is the Snatch oh. Green figure. This is, you know, that still looks good even it, to it this day. Great, but it, it fits with the rest of the Conan collection. Yeah, even though he's a slight bit bigger because it's in the seven inch scale. Um, but it fits with Mezco because they just a little bit under. It's the six inch, but it's like six and a half inch almost. Depending yeah. on what you're going with because it's not proper one twelve scale. Proper one twelve scale is like figure arts. But um. Yeah, you know, it, you know, once you have everything put together, it, 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 it won't even be noticeable. Yeah. That and because uh, you guys didn't get to see it last time. Oh, um, what is that? The Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Oh, from yeah, yeah. Oh, yep. Right. So this is the deluxe version. Awesome. So I got him with. Yeah, there you go. The angry face there. Nice. Nice. Good work, the one thing, the one thing about Ghostbusters. Ray Parker Jr., you know, I, I dug Radio, the, his old band, but I thought the, the theme of Ghostbusters is one of the worst <laughs> themes ever. I hated that song. <laughs> Hell no. That's cool. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. That's very cool. I went to see the movie. I fell asleep through most of it. Did you really? The, oh, the man, latest I one? I tired, bro. I was tired. My wife rocked me to sleep because... Oh, uh, ain't that sweet. The, the, the chairs, you can, you can rock a little bit on it, right? So, uh -huh. my wife being the old lady that she is, <laughs> just rocking in there, getting in her comfort zone and whatnot, and I'm over here comfortable with her, eating popcorn, sipping on soda. I have the popcorn right on my lap, and... You done. Done, done. And I was dozing in and out, but um, I got most of the movie, but I missed all Bill Murray's parts. I missed all of um, <laughs> the, the, the core. So this Wednesday, this Wednesday, I'm going back to the theater to go uh, give see it another it. shot. Yeah, but see, here's the thing: um, the theater that I went to, 
they gave us free tickets to return because the sound quality was jacked. And I fell asleep, oh, I fell asleep through all that. So I get to see a movie again, regardless if it's the same movie right. or if I go see another movie. So um, so it, it, it's a win-win. So I get to actually pay for the movie and get a free goings for the next one. So I think uh, the next uh, film that I'm going to go see with the free ticket is uh, uh, Kingdom of Planet of the Apes. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm going to do. But other than that, what else you get, buddy? Anything else? Did I get anything else in the mail? Uh, no. I think that's it. That's it. Just those uh, those three things. Um. Yep. Yeah. All right. Oh yeah. Who's next? We got the Beam Brothers. Yeah. Look at that Joker. It's Joker. Nice and vibrant. actually ended up getting two, so this is one that he had. Mine was stuck in customs last week, so mm-hmm. it's still on the way. Oh, man. Yeah. I, I like the colors pop. This Joker's awesome. And, yes, this one will uh, make a stop-motion debut as well. Okay. And soft goods. And, yes, Beautiful. soft goods. Beautiful. The way it should be. <laughs> Mondo. Same <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, lot of blue Mondo. Mondo. Should have been doing does come with a second. He does the have a second day. It's called Lorian. Uh-huh. It's a, the, uh, the hat is fixed on. Got a so. nice little lid there. Yeah. 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 I was a little disappointed that the hat is fixed on. It should be like you should be able to remove the hair and then put the hat on. Yeah. But still looks good. Still that, yeah, would, looks really good. that would be clever. That would be clever to have that. But then. Yeah. But we've been waiting for this one forever, it seems. Yeah. So. Absolutely. But, yeah, you know Mesco's doing theirs too, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna have to dip into the Mesco game with that because <laughs> I'm running out of space for six scale stuff, and I think uh, whatever's not done in the Mesco fashion, um, yeah. I'm gonna get it in six scale if I have space for it. For instance, the the Robocops, the Terminators, um, Blade, um, Blade doesn't really count because it's Wesley Snipes' right. Blade. Um, hey, Maz. Hey, Maz. Uh, I wanted to say, hey, uh, Flavio's house of collectibles is he is are they new? I don't. I'm sorry if I didn't see you before, Flavio, but welcome. Yeah, yeah, welcome. Yeah, good to see you. Something to say was what's up, fellow collectors? What's going on? Good old, good old, good old Tijuana Mike, and of course, Commander Green. H green, 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 green. Make one for Cosmic Legions. Cosmic, yeah, Cosmic Legions, man. I need to make one for for man, Commander Green, Cosmic Legions, Mythic Legions. I, I've yet to to dip into that that line, but eventually I will because they got those figures are baller, man. Wow. You want me to make a suggestion for you for uh, a Cosmic Legions? Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you one thing. I should do, and I'll let you say. One thing I should do is pay more attention because uh, the Four Horsemen website, these guys do, when they do sales on these Cosmic Legions, they get down to like $25. That's one of the things I need to do. Yeah. But go ahead, Lou. What's the, what, what, what else should I be doing? I'm saying if you're going to get anybody from Cosmic Legions, okay. in my opinion, this is the guy to get. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I guess so many, yeah, and it's, that's baller, and there's so many ballers. Yeah, yeah, it does look pretty cool. Yeah. They, man, they do some great stuff. He's a thicky boy. Yeah. Oh, that's what I like about their stuff. They're they're nice and stocky and thick, thick pieces. So yeah. what did what did what did that one run you about sixty? No, that hadn't been more than. It, it was a uh, sixty. It was about oh, okay. 60. I did, I did. But but I think I got it on a sale and it was running uh almost fifty. Okay. And it was on Big Bad Toy Store that I got the sale. So I got this and I got another one, which I think I have him there in a crazy pose. I'm gonna leave him there in a crazy pose. But um, yeah, because I I missed the sale that that uh the site had just a, I think it was a few weeks ago twenty five bucks a figure man that they were that they were going yeah, there was some of the, some of the figures that there were twenty five bucks there's others there that weren't but this right here this like just kind of like an arc reactor on his chest yeah, <laughs> yeah I like that kind of oh oh look at him he got oh man he's got his hand back like man I will 
I will cut you the hell up, bro. So, <laughs> I don't so, know who yeah. you think you' talking to. So, like, it, these could go with anything from Mezco's to oh, like, yeah. or, or Legends. So if, much. Or if you just want them by themselves, you can. If you want to put them with your movie uh, turtles, like yeah. this is what I All recommend right. you if you're gonna get it. Or the dragons. You got one blue and one green, so you can pick and choose. And the body is just that they have a tail. And the green one, huh. I believe, has an interchangeable head that's like this. Luminara's here. Hey, Luminara. Hey, Lumi. They are uh, they're pulling into oh, the parking that. lot around back. Come on in, Lumi. Pull your car <laughs> around to the back. There's plenty of places to park, and it's lighted. So you don't have to. We have a, se uh, a security guard in the booth. So come on in. Pull in. Uh. I'm not, not the community, but fairly new to tuning into the show. Just tapping in. Huh? Appreciate you. Yeah, and please, you know, come come back often. <laughs> come back. Appreciate often. it. Welcome. Yeah. What's next? Um, I got somebody with an arc reactor. Oh <laughs> yeah, dude. And you know something that that particular uh package is going for relative. You can find it for a pretty good, decent oh. price. Yeah, I'm surprised at how cheap you can find it for everyone. It was just thirty percent off. Yeah, it's week. and I've looked at like you know I don't really I'm kind of burned out on on Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark, but this particular piece itself, I really considered it because I I, yeah. I kind of like that you know like right in the middle of creating something you know he's he's. It just looks very cool. And isn't there another piece that goes with it? The dummy should be. With yeah, the, the dummy. Yeah, it's still in the some of it. I actually haven't. Uh, no, I thought there was some kind of uh, mech machine that went with it, or yeah, something. Dummy. Yeah, the dummy. Dummy. Yeah. Called dummy. Oh yes. That, oh, that's the name of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. yep. I thought you meant <laughs> a, a dummy figure. Yeah. So um, even though by now it should be USB, but uh, I do like the. That his arms are uh, battery pack kind of here, which is That's pretty sweet. sweet. Yeah. I should be getting him next week. Nice. Nice. Oh, wow. oh, 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 oh. I Beam got him coming in, huh? Okay, Beam. Yeah. I would have got him. That's a great head sculpt. But I got me a, 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 a yeah. test suit, um, kind of Iron Man. It's called Electro. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, dude. Oh. Well, he was <laughs> two hundred, but he was like two something when yeah. I got him. So, that uh, looks, yeah, that's, that's cool. Yeah, I got thirty percent off. So it's like a hundred dollars off. That's that's great. That's great. My applause. Um, Actually, did you no, buy that through, uh, thing on show. eBay by chance? Sideshow. Yeah. Yeah, Trimble, Trimble, you can still, he's he's in, he's on sites. You can find them easily. Mm -hmm. you, know, you don't even have to go to uh, used or anything like that. And that's one, of, right that is one of the better head sculpts, too. Yeah. Head, head sculpt. yeah it's still not um, quite there on the, uh, uh, on the younger side, but right. um, from a distance. Better, right? But what, exactly, better, right? like, as it, I'm looking that at one it, the Mark here, too, though. That one with the Mark II looks really good. Yeah, oh, but as sure. I'm looking at it right here, this looks awesome. Yeah, mm -hmm. the one that with the Mark, new Mark II, that's the one they should be using. Not um, okay. I I still, yeah, I still got it right here. And this piece will uh, go really uh, good with the construction Mark III. Yeah, that that old guy right there, and then that and the older guy, guy. <laughs> slightly younger guy right there. <laughs> it just needs less wrinkles. That's it. Like, that's all. That's all it needs. <laughs> But um, I got somebody that ha doesn't have any wrinkles because he's animated. Ooh. Yeah, that's dope, man. That's yeah. so dope. Yeah, dude. He's great. I thought the – um, I saw some pictures with the uh, skin texture, but uh, – uh, and it was like, ugh, that's not good. He's animated. What's he going to do with skin texture? But um, <laughs> that, is, that is kind of creepy. Yeah, there were some pictures out there that look kind of rough, cartoon yeah. figure in silicone. It would be really but trippy. Once again, in hand. I mean, it's I love that color, really man. It's just so vibrant. 
Yeah, yeah I'm looking yeah. forward to that S Hero Batman too. Animated Batman. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah I can't yeah. wait for that, man. That's gonna be. I would, awesome. I would have been on it. I would have jumped in on it, but then Space is my number one nemesis right now, mm -hmm. so I have to opt for the Mesco versions. Okay. See, here we go. All right. He ain't done. I'm not well, done. I got I'm another. Just... Nope. There Mark he is. Hamill, Joker. Been waiting on that one for a while. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Where did this oh, come from? I've never. That's, that's, that's the from the video games. That's Arkham the video games. Oh, this oh, oh, oh. Hard to find piece. Mm -hmm. I was getting ready to say this is. This is now, from the first Arkham game. This is, oh man, yo. So, you, so Blue, did you acquire this from another collector? I did, yeah. Oh man, but uh, he's in great condition. So yeah, fun. and uh, do you know roughly when the, when this particular figure came out? Oh, years ago. Uh, that was around 2017, wasn't it? Yeah, about that. Yep. Looks great. Looks great even for now. Oh yeah. Yeah, and both Mark Hamill jokers. So. Yep. Mm -hmm. They are fantastic. Uh, there you go. Blue is Blue is back. He's back with a vengeance. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I got no. I'm just kidding. Not that's it. Uh, <laughs> Lumi Luminara's bragging out here. She said she's the one. She called that uh, called it, yep. Ar Artisan Jack Sparrow. She called yep. it before it got so before it was announced. It Good dropped. For you. It hasn't dropped. It's, it's, just, it's just been announced. It's been teased. It's it's been teased. teased. So I'm yeah, not, or teased, so whatever. Yeah. I, oh, you're right. It was teased, not announced. I, I take mm -hmm. that back. I take that back. Oh, mechanics one of my favorites. Oh, yeah. I wish I had that one. That one. That one's pretty good. I wish because uh, I wish they would have painted it better to look more like Robert Downey Jr. But because uh, the sculpt is there, because I I bought that sculpt and. Um, uh, recasted yeah. it and it's fantastic. Um, they just didn't paint it right to make it look like Robert Downey Jr. Okay, kind of like T'Challa. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, I am in your collection. You can totally swap his scopes at this point and get the perfect yeah. Tony stuff. Well, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. and believe I'll, I'll, me, if it can be done, Blue can do it. <laughs> yeah, I'll put it on um, uh, Mark II, that new Mark II, when it comes out, I'll put it on yeah. this guy. Yeah. There you go. It, it's more accurate to number, you know, part one of Iron hey, Man. Man, that's the advantages yeah. of kid bashing. Yep. Just... Well, speaking of kid bashing, swap, swap, swap. <laughs> go ahead. Um, get where? Oh, take blue down. On big I put this on a TV league. Nah. There you go. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it looks pretty good. Nah. I gotta figure oh, out the... a TB League body. Yeah, I put this on a TB League. Fantastic. You're just trying to get her neck below. I see it. Fantastic. She's got the articulation. Fantastic. Nice. Where is that? <laughs> She's got to fix the head sculpt. The the neck yeah. up a little too yeah. high. And then I'll, I'll be replacing all this with actual mm -hmm. uh, beads. Beads yeah, I, I, and uh, I got couch leather back here. So I I stripped her down of all of her wear except for her top and her pants. Oh, yes, and, and gave her a guitar. <laughs> yeah. At least at yeah, least yeah, yeah. until until somebody comes out with a real definitive Okoya. She's 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 she's, she's well, like gonna said, she's gonna spend time being in the band. I'll be replacing with with that, that right there. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. to, oh, to yeah. That beat more that you're working on. Yep. Ah, yeah. oh, that's gonna. Ah, oh, yeah. dude, talk about custom. That's and, yeah. I got a. I got a head sculpt uh, uh, that I just need to recast and uh, put some skin texture on, and then okay, the paint it, of course, when it's ready to go. Because I'll be doing no, the same. Uh, Swap the body, doing yeah. the leather goods and and beads and stuff like that. And right. Yeah. Uh, no tremble dust. This is not the hentai hour yet. <laughs> Wait for the after show. No, no, this is a sneak peek. You know, so we should we should do it. I might even do it. I I'm might bring Triple. Hey, Triple does. Would you be a, like a partner with me? You don't even have to come up on the stream. Be a partner with me on one of my streams. <laughs> I, I, I might do a hentai stream. What the hell? Wow. Yeah, yeah. 
I bring Trimble to us up. He'll be the one that he'll point out all of the stuff. I'll do it from the, it'll be me and Trimble to us from the chat. I don't know anything about it. He could direct me. I can bring up figures and, and just sex out. Sex out. Hmm. <laughs> it'll be, it'll be, it'll be an after hours. <laughs> AFA after hours hey. featuring Trimble Dust. That would be hilarious, bro. Go ahead, Lou. What you got to say? Uh, I would, I would <laughs> he can't say, wait. He can't help himself. Go ahead. It, it, it's nine o'clock somewhere. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Very true. Nine o'clock somewhere. Very true. Uh, <laughs> yes, you are. Don't lie now. <laughs> you, you put yourself, you stepped in the dew. It's, it's duty on your shoe, man. We smell it when you came in. No, you stepped in something. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, Maz, yeah, I, I feel you, man, on these uh, hot toys. Hot I, toys I, needs to change their name to uh, hot toys, but shit ideas. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what was it again? Hot toys needs to change their name from hot toys to hot toys with shit ideas. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Let, I want. I want to get. I want to get blue pumped up tonight. I want hot, to takes. Oh. hot takes. <laughs> so Can we good. figure out a reason for for blue to go? We're calling them hot turds. Like well, we'll bring it up. We'll bring it up shortly. Yeah. But uh, firstly, uh, just a few things uh, more yes, from Chainsaw Man uh, from okay. Three Zero Fig Zero. Oh, okay. Uh, Taylor, I've yet to watch anything from this. So, that right. Taylor Same. is height. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. Mm -hmm. The sword. I love that. The way yeah. it looks, it looks nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do pretty good on uh, on anime. Very, very yeah. clean. Mm -hmm. Super clean. I yeah, I'd probably get their um, uh, cowboy bebop. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. for this. So. As good as this looks, I mean, yeah. I mean, if you enjoy the Thank show, mm -hmm. ah, there it is. Yeah. I have no idea who he is, but <laughs> there he is. <laughs> me, me neither. <laughs> Whoever he is, there he is. Yeah. I'm not familiar with Chainsaw Man. I haven't seen. Yeah, it. same, same. But it, it looks uh, very. Uh, it looks really nice. Well, well, the, here. the figure that they released did gangbusters. People love yeah. the figure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I've seen that figure everywhere from SH Figure Arts to third parties. And uh, and, and, and freaking in art is going to do it. That's going to be creepy. Oh, yep. That's right. Um, <laughs> that's going to be lonely in art I don't get. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, Chainsaw Man looks interesting, but I, I don't know if I'd ever spend any time indulging in it. I'm it. Yeah, that was that one. Uh, yeah. Hey, the other one that grabbed my attention was this guy right here. Um, evil, the Evolution of Europe. That's evolution a, of Europe? Blacksmith of the Middle Ages. What are you talking about? Thank uh, you. Later. Oh, oh that's cool. Yeah. This looks oh, dude, I dig that so much. That would work so well in a diorama. Oh, I mean, yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh, and he gets all he gets the oh the anvil mm -hmm. and all of that. I've, yeah, those as I know, great. I haven't looked, but yeah. Who's who's he, yeah, doing he looks this? badass? Yeah. Um pop pop. Just plain pop, pop. huh? It says pop, pop costume. E E O two. We got a popcostume.com. Metal leg there. <laughs> What do you mean, Trimble? If you had room, oh, yeah, Trimble, you can yeah. make room for this, Trimble. Get out of here. Oh, that is. This is. Yeah, do, we, do, cool. do we have any idea? And I know I'm rushing things, but do we have any idea what, what, what they want for him? Um, Just one moment. Oh, I, I have am, stuff with, uh, Tom I am Stark. becoming enamored. Yeah, dude. I'm look. Yeah, I think I might pre-order this when I have some extra. Cash. Oh, by the way, can you bring me up big real quick? It's two thirty nine. Two thirty nine. On kit. On kit. like some people. Yeah. Pick you up. Yeah. So as you guys can see, I have created a custom base for her. Oh, nice. oh cool. Yeah. 
So that's that's how much attention I'm going to give to the babes. I'm, I'm doing I'm going to custom basis for all of them. Nice customized basis. Yeah, and, and there's still more. Like this piece right here lights up. I just got to get the battery for it. Oh, okay. Uh, this I just put here. This is not going to stay here because she has nothing to do with um, Egyptology. But I I created this. Well, actually, I got this was a uh, symbol that um, a guy who. At one of the collectible shows, he did um, 3D printouts. So he did this. He got them at all different sizes. And then I just took a, a, an effects piece from Marvel Legends and made it look like it was giving off some kind of essence and stuff. Mm -hmm. But anyway, that's, that's all I wanted to show. I, just, I didn't have anything else to show, so I wanted to brag about my little kid bashing situation. Hell yeah, dude. I know. It, 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 box 210. Don't let anybody fool you. Great figure. You got to see it in person. And and the posability is 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 really good. Although, I'm going to keep her pretty stagnant. I, she's not moving out of this position anytime soon. That's what I This told. is looking so good. I, it just, it's, it's too much, though. I got to, oh, it looks great. <laughs> That's what yeah. I told you. Game moving from this position. Nope. Uh, I even get like a, like a red. That yeah. looks cool, man. So all oh, that's cool. I like that. Yes. Oh, that's fire. I like it that. Is. You got you got literally a uh, sword being put into the mm -hmm. the oil. So mm -hmm. you got and you gotta love how they me they're making the metal look hot. Yep. That yep. I'm yeah, super that impressed pretty. by this. I'm trying oh, to see if there's a page. So badass. Just... Yeah. See, that's dope by itself, and that's a perfect gift for like a, a person who's into metallurgy, uh, metallurgy who who are in smithing, metalsmiths, mm -hmm. uh, people who are welders and stuff like that. Like, yo, dude, here, what's this? This is a one six scale version of you. This is, <laughs> this is your car. <laughs> yeah. So that that's cool. That's cool. See, I, if I had Assassin's Creed figures, I would definitely have this there, and just have them there Assassin's with Creed. Assassin's Creed. It'd okay. even go good with your Conan figures, to be honest with you. Just... Mm, uh, yeah, I would say so too. Yeah. Anything medieval? Yeah, but Middle he Ages. Killed, all right. Middle Ages, I should say. Well, uh, you know, uh, uh, guess who else you could put him? I, I, you'd have to work with the aesthetics and stuff around. I'd put him with the armor. <laughs> yeah, I, I would could. put him with yeah. the armor. Yeah, I'd put, I'd put him in a cave with Tony Stark. I was just gonna say I would put him with Tony Stark too. Yeah. I would put him with the Mandalorian armorer. <laughs> but then again, you, you could. Um, yeah. they, They're they, both Smiths. She's a Smith. That's true, but Mando, Mando's only chill with Mandos in the sense right. of uh, dude, uh, dude. Do in my world, <laughs> there are no boundaries. It, it, so it, just it, take yeah, this head off and put a Mandalorian helmet on. All right? out the window. Yeah. Yeah. There are no rules. <laughs> no rules. Oh, yeah. I, I, yeah, love, I, I love crossing cool. IPs. I thought this looked cool. It it it, it is, That's man. Dope, man. Mm -hmm. It That's is dope. dope. Like it's one of those uh, unique pieces that you know yep. it stands out on its own without yep. having a uh, uh, call into it. It's like you know you see this like, dude, where's this from? The fact that you get something that you say, yo, where did this come from? Like, what's the IP? Who made it? That, you want to know? You want to know? Asks all those things. Mm -hmm. I yeah, wonder if any door. of this is like suede leather. Um, because that 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 apron, a lot of the stuff that they wore were were you know cow high animal right. high. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm wondering how close the apron is. The only thing that's real leather. Okay, this, that which yes. is fine. It's I mean, this apron. this is such a. I mean, I wish more what. Okay. Ah. Uh, the apron, and well, at least you won't have a big piece flaking on you, so that's good, right? Hmm. But, but, but so the, these two side, um, two uh, uh, tool, tool pouches, they're not leather, right? Just the apron, okay. Um, I don't know, um, that might be, it looks I would, like it's the same material, but you would think, why would they just do it for the apron and not do it for the, the pouches? The, I could, yeah, I suppose. I mean, it's. I don't know if you'd consider that the apron, but it does look similar. Well, 
No, it doesn't. Who knows? No. It does look. Oh, different. you're right. It doesn't. It doesn't. It looks like a whole different type yeah. of uh, uh, that's simulated the fake, leather. That's the fake leather, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You're right. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, really, seriously, though, as long as that apron holds out, this you, you, looks, you'll be able to. Now, that looks, looks like leather. leather. Mm hmm. Yeah, that that looks like sway, bro. That's cool. That's, that's the yep. That's the point I'm making. You got you know you gotta if you can go with the the, the textures that they that they would have used. Uh, no, it looks great. Mm -hmm. Looks so Very cool. Said, yeah, normal gloved hands, hands. Yeah. yeah, the only thing that says real leather is the apron. Oh. All right, yeah, it looks it looks really freaking cool. Is it up uh, there? It's on Kit. It's on Kit's page. One six Kit, you can get it there. Yeah. And you know, search other third parties like Neo Geek. Neo Geek's a good one. I don't know if it'd be on there, but third parties. Neo Geek's another good place to get the third parties. So mm -hmm. that's where I get most. Yeah. That's where I get some of mine from, for sure. Yeah. And uh, yeah, they, they they have a nice little. Some of these sites have a nice little section where they sell accessories, like Kit does. They sell it, and you get Kit and some of these Monkey other people. Yeah, and you can find a, accessories for like the particular figures that you've purchased. Like if I ever lose, um, if I ever lose um, um, Rick Deckard's little bottle of scotch. I think it's Kit has all of those particular pieces. You can buy that that same the same bottle that comes in the 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 uh, box with him. Yeah, so which is cool. N nice knowing that you know because these little pieces are easy to lose, mm -hmm. or they break yeah. if they got a little extending parts. Easy to lose. Yeah, yeah, they're all those small parts. Uh huh. And that's why I did this. Um, I had bought these uh, uh, last week and then got a ton more of the other one. Dollar Tree, a dollar. Put what all you your hands, your heads. Come on. Oh, okay. Oh. Yep. Huh? The buck. Or a buck 35 or 29. What do they call hmm. it? The action. Uh, Action well, this, this is for carry. This is for those real little bitty plastic things. Okay. Perfect to put all your junk in. Perfect. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. You have to do it. Go get her. She's gorgeous. She's like. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, Beam, uh, well, the next one I got here, pretty interesting too, but I have no idea what it's from. Okay. That's this guy, this person. Yeah. There's a ton of anime stuff coming out, isn't it? It is anime, right? Looks so, like it, yep. does but, look like it. It does yeah. say Dark Myth. Yeah, it's ruling the roost right now. <clears throat> Boy, anime is huge. But yeah, it looks Perfect. interesting. Now, that's oh. interesting. He's got wheels for le for feet? What the mm -hmm. heck? Or oh, is his feet standing? There's something circular at the bottom of the base. Looks kind of interesting. Yeah, there's like wheels on his feet. Oh. Windman? 42? Well, we're man. Oh, there Thank you me. go. There you go. See, when, dude, it's some of the, one of the best places for uh, diorama gear. Mm -hmm. What do we mm -hmm. got here? Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, very detailed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. See, the only thing that I, I like a lot of the aesthetics, the problem with anime is I'm not that crazy about the the animation style, the way faces look, the hair. I'm just I'm just not a big fan of it. You know what this figure will go great with? What's that? Alita Battle Angel, because it has ah. a particular face. Oh yeah. Now that that is a um, that's a figure I had considered. That figure is sweet. Is it Lead the Battle Angel? Very animated mm -hmm. face. Yes, I, 
but for some strange reason, you know, the movie was awesome too. I, I wish they'd do another one. Nice uh, textured hair, though. I mean, that looks really good. It yeah. really looks good. And he got a PlayStation controller. Ah. He damn near, yeah, he's damn near got individual strands popping up. And so, you know, some of those little frayed areas looks great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know what else? I know it sounds crazy, but it would almost look pretty good next to an Edward's, Edward Scissor Hands. I can oh, see. Yeah. You know, I just kind of in that kind of realm. Maybe just. Yeah, I can see that. You can um, see it a little bit, just a little bit, you know. I see the Tim Burton influence. Yeah. But yeah, like this screams Alita Battle Angel. Like, even was that a cyborg chin? You look at that. You got a little plate on the chin. Come on. Right. There's all kinds of little aesthetics going on all over the place. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's got two different face plates. Yeah, how much is this? Very sophisticated. It's a uh, two forty six on kit. That's not bad. Mm -hmm. That's not bad for a unique piece like this. Yeah, mm -hmm. great detail. I mean, it has like this samurai steampunk. Yes, like which I I adore vibe to it. You know, very different. Very very different. Mm -hmm. Not too shabby. Mm -mm, not at all. And don't get me wrong. I grew up oh, on this. Yeah. I, there was a time before some <laughs> of you guys were born where anime was as, as hot as it is now because I did grow up with a lot of early morning cartoons coming out of Japan. At that, When I was growing up, Japan was pumping out anime cartoons like crazy. Oh. Or you had your, your series like Ultraman. But my thing was uh, Astro Boy. I was a big Astro Boy fan. Kimba. My dude was Speed Racer. I still want to get a Mark V. <laughs> Racer X. Okay. Yes. Oh, Racer X. Yeah. And, and, you know, um, Speed Racer back then was a very sophisticated uh, cartoon for kids. The storyline was an ongoing one and racer x mm -hmm. the guy in all black and stuff who was supposedly the nemesis yep i know they they wait for a while but eventually down the road they reveal racer well, yeah. x is speed racer's brother yep that was awesome man i mean Man, you got to get back to doing cartoons like that again man they were episodic but they actually had a storyline that continued on it was, it was that was a great great uh cartoon speed racer and that was pure anime i loved it so i grew up on anime don't get me wrong i just i just think that now you know i just don't find it as a, as pleasing as it as it used to be but yeah. the violence in it i watched um it's called uh uh z uh, i mean vampire hunter d oh that that monstrosity. I, I I dug the movie. I that's the first time I got turned on to more current anime. And somebody said, "Hey man, check out Hunter D." And I, I checked it. I went, "Ooh!" I said, "But extremely violent." <laughs> nah, you want to see you want to see uh, violence? Uh, watch uh, Ninja Scroll. Ninja Scrolls violence. Ninja Scrolls, yeah, that one's crazy. Yep. Ninja Scroll, Giver. Uh, the original driver, that is. Um, what else? Uh, there's a couple of other ones out there, but yeah, like Trigun's a nice one. Uh, mm -hmm. 007 is nice. Yeah. Afro Samurai. Afro Samurai is legit. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> that was awesome. that. That's great. Mm hmm. Yeah, I, I I love the 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 knowledge that we get from chat. Mm. Triple does technically wouldn't be called anime. Castlevania on Netflix. Okay, yeah, Castlevania. Castlevania is awesome. That's a great show. Mm. Uh, next one we got up here, we got uh, Persian cavalry. Some more night stuff. 
chain mail. Oh, that's cool. Okay. That's dope. I did that. That head scope is dope. It reminded me of Trevor Slattery, though. <laughs> yeah. Or, 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 uh, a very distorted Keanu Reeves. <laughs> it's like somebody squashed down at the top of his head. His forehead is a little squashed. Oh, Adam Driver. That's what. <laughs> Oh wow! Oh yeah, Adam Driver. <laughs> Adam Driver, I see it. <laughs> Adam Driver. Man, that, I, I dig it. I'm digging, right I'm digging the chainmail, Jack. <laughs> that chainmail is <clears throat> off the off the hook. Night of Ren, right there. Yeah, yeah, but look, we got the a tiny ass camel. We got a camel. Yeah. Yeah. I already got one. I, I bought my camel at a uh, this is a Indian shop, and uh, it fits six scale. I mean, uh, it fits uh, 12, 12 scale. I was like, oh, awesome. Oh, so does this one? But yeah. <laughs> it's pretty neat though. I love the chain mail. I really yeah. do. Yeah. A, a jamming that looks fantastic. Mm-hmm. Oh, that looks so good. Yeah, that's very nice. It, it, this is just right. these last, like, I guess three years now since I've been back into collecting, man, I came in at just the right time. <laughs> HH I, I, I came back at just the right time. Yeah, these guys <laughs> do some pretty good stuff. As far as mm -hmm. nights and stuff go, you know you ain't getting nowhere on the camel fast. <laughs> yeah, but you got to get there. Yeah, you <laughs> One get thing there. you you will get there. You get will. on something else and try and get there. I don't care how fast it's, it's like going the, in. It's like the tortoise in the head, right? The <laughs> you better, that's exactly right. I'll take I'll take the camel over anything you want. No, sir, I don't want the mule. F that horse. That horse ain't getting me but two blocks if I'm lucky. That I'm getting no, over sand dry, dunes. I'm getting through sand dunes. I'm getting through everything mm -hmm. with that camel, Jack. You'll get there <laughs> when the war is done. Yeah, well. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's smart. He says. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right now, I got all my turtles in a running pose. Oh, nice. You know, I'm trying to see what kind of display I want to have them with all their soft goods on and kind of like running towards the camera. And Kind of this guy like in between the legs like this, and then see all of them running like towards him. Kind of like uh, have the the legs frame the the shot. They have them chase him. Very good. Yeah, man. But chainmail that that chainmail is fire. We need more. Isn't that fire, bro? Yeah, <laughs> it looks so good. Hey, Lou, you got a question there from Trimble. Well, oh, what's up, uh, Lou? Were you able to, dude? Yep. Boom! Come on, Trimble. You this is Lou, bro. <laughs> I was waiting. There <laughs> is nobody better that I've come across <laughs> on on turtleology. This this guy is insane. <laughs> Every time I bring, I can see something like yesterday and go, oh, man, these turtles are coming out. Come on the show tonight. Hey, Lou, did you hear? Yes, I already know. Yeah, like, for instance. Sorry, bro, didn't mean to insult you. No, 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 it's not an insult. It's uh, No, I'm saying that it's uh, just out of fun. Yeah, um, what you would call it. When it comes to Ninja Turtles, you have to be aware if you're a collector of the IP. So Yeah, yeah. because it's so vast. It's vast, but it's so, vast. um there's certain uh, people I'm you know, still looking uh, for you for uh, the Kamen Rider. Thanks, uh, Trimble Dust. I even got... Uh, oh, yeah. That's I a got tough uh, uh, Ray from Hogwarts uh, looking for me, too, for the Kamen Rider battle uh, battle damage. Because it looks like it was a, a Asia exclusive because there's nobody um, in the U.S. having it. So it's kind of like the... Um, what should we call it? The Sony, I mean, the Disney Spider Man. The yeah. Spider Man was only released in the uh, Disney store in Cali, right? Everywhere else was European, um, Asia. You couldn't get it anywhere else. 
even the one without the churro. So, uh, but um, right now they have the Holothon event for uh, uh, NECA, right? And I hate Holothon. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. And what is it that you hate about the Holothon? Um, one, the NECA distributor has to pull out all the boxes out on these uh, end caps or on the shelving unit where they have their specific Holothon stuff. Yeah. So sometimes they'll do it earlier when it's supposed to go out. So when you go to the store, you can't get it because it's already been scalped. Right. You know, when they say, oh, it's going to hit the streets every Friday, you go starting this time, and then you realize in other states it's been a week ahead, and then you go check your targets, they, they already beat you to it. So, yeah. and then when you try to go online, it's already sold out. So, I'm trying You to know what I've learned? Get it. I've so, learned that, and Target's notorious for this. Uh, you know, they'll always have something in the system. Uh, or, 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 well, there'll be something you'll say online that in the store. Yeah. And they'll even tell you what aisle it's at. You go to, I, at least the Target I go to here, they're never, you know, they're not there. It's like, yeah, well, you, why don't you update your, your website, people, so I don't not, come all the way out here for nothing? It's not that. It's not that. You know what it is? It's the scalpers. But, it's, well, hold on. They'll do is this. They'll, they'll, I don't, I don't even. But let me do, let me just finish this. First of all, I, I don't even acknowledge scalpers. They don't even exist in my world. I can give a fuck about scalpers. They can do whatever the hell they want. <laughs> my point is, though, is that when you're asking for something mm -hmm. and, and, and they tell you that it's not in the store, they have to clear the system. Because if they don't clear the system, they won't order it again. Well, here, here's where you are. Wait, let me finish. I'm almost done, Lou. What I've learned is that you can literally tell the employee, could you clear the could clear that out? They can do it from their devices right then. They don't even have to call for any kind of authority. All you're doing is updating the inventory. Mm -hmm. Because if they don't, if they don't cancel it, if they don't clear it out, they're not going to order anymore because it's going to state that it's still there and it's not. I'm like, well, Good to hear. I'm, I'm going to start using that technique. Well, here's the thing, and this is why I say scalpers, because sometimes they have the funds to get it or they have a cap on how much they can get in quantity. So what they'll do is they'll take the item that's on the shelf and they'll either put it on the very top or they'll hide it on the very bottom under the cap. Oh, so that hiding stuff. They, they'll hide stuff. That's why it's still in the system. Because as they market, they market it's there, this, that, and the third. Because you know each one gets a. You're company. absolutely right. So they hide it. They scalp it. They'll take it out of that aisle, hide it somewhere else behind some fabric softener, and then they'll come back to it later and they'll do it. Um, but you know so, something? That's not even just scalp. It's just the average toy hunter. A lot of toy hunters just hide stuff so they can come back and get it. Have, they're not even. They just don't have the money. And they'll hide stuff. Yeah. I mean, they notorious for that. Send you two I, links, Beam. Uh, Ma, Maz works at uh, Target, so he, he has the inside. Oh, Maz works at Target? Yep, so listen to what he's saying right here. They can't clear the inventory if there are, there are any online orders in the system for that item. Those online orders have to be gone. Why does the online orders have anything to do with the in-store? Yeah, that doesn't help me. That doesn't help the employee. I mean, I'm sorry, it doesn't help the customer. I I understand, but but even on, online, they'll tell you, okay, there's a sale here, but you can only get it online. You can't get it at the store. Fine. But you got to keep the inventory from the store and from the online separate. That's the dumbest thing I ever heard. But then again, once again, these are corporations today, they, they're just running all haphazardly. It doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. I don't let it get me. Like I said, I don't let Trump. I don't even know uh, 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 if a scalper would, would be, even be looking out for anything I'd be looking out for. I know they're out there and they're never going away. Well, trust I me, once they have a Bratz doll that you want for the claim, hey, man, it's going to be gone. It's going to be. Gone I away. don't care if they get to be. I don't care. I can't. I can't worry about scalpers. That's the last thing I want to worry about. 
they're going to do what they're going to do and you're never going to stop it. And the mm -hmm. employees are going to do it on you too. So why worry about it? Just hope you get your peace and move on. But that's the, that's the issue with Holothon. See, that's the issue with Holothon because you do have to worry about that. That is the worry about Holothon. That's why everyone hates Holothon because if, Unless you have someone who works at the particular target that you're cool, you know, you're, you're there, you're cool with the individual, and they got yeah. you an uh, individual set. That's the only way you're going to get it, or maybe you will be one of the lucky individuals that was able to be there and, you know, get there right after they just set up the, the, the unit because a yeah. NECA employee has to set it up. Not oh, yeah. the target employee. A NECA I understand that. There's, there's, that's so, right. So because it's it's like that and it's holothon and it's exclusive and stuff like that and it's the reason why it's exclusive it's the early batches of what is going to be quote unquote readily available like yeah. for instance the last time they had something like that it was the turtles in the skies and they sold out like this yeah and I had to wait until NECA six months later put it on their website. And then after that, wait another six months for it to be delivered. Yeah. Well, you know, bottom line is it, 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 if there is a scalper out there that that could get a figure that I want out of the billions of figures out there. Hey, good for him. But uh, once again, I just go in, I buy. I don't even think about that stuff. It's, it's just not my, worth my time. If I get it, I get it. I don't. I don't. It's just not worth the time to worry about a scalper. Just don't. But you know. Remember, you're taking advice from somebody who collects Barbies and brats. Remember that. Exactly. They're readily available. They're readily yeah, available. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Uh, fuck those scalpers, man. <laughs> yeah, fuck them. I don't I don't I don't I they're gonna do what they're gonna do. We know that and, they, and it's not illegal. illegal. It's a race. No, but see, that's the thing, it's a race and a chase. So, and then that's why you, if you're a collector, get your ass. Dude, every time I go to Target, I, I don't care if it's in the middle of the week. They may not have any. I get there when the door is open. I'm standing there when they open it. When I, every time I go out figure shopping, I'm standing there when the door is open. So, and I've seen scalp. I mean, I see scalpers every once in a while. Yeah. I don't care. What the hell? What am I going to do? Stop you and go, hey, don't do that. It's not, it's not, that's not the point I'm making. The point I'm making is be having the opportunity to purchase something that's there um, and you can't get it to it because early bird gets the worm situation. But how and, early is the bird? Because the thing is this if you don't have the connect, you will never get your item unless you're lucky. That's why I hate Holothon. A lot of us do because. Yeah. That particular event is a shit show, just like shit show event when it comes to the whole uh, Hot Toys debacle with the uh, artisan stuff. Yeah, so, the limited shit that they do. Yeah, because yeah, it is limited. It's not like, okay, this event is only for four weeks, and it's every Friday on the Holothon website and on Target, but Target doesn't restock what's already sold out, so yeah. you're screwed. And and I'm digging what Miles is saying here. They don't work on the trucks over uh uh don't work the trucks overnight, right? So a lot of times you're they're not stocking until early morning. I understand that, but the next day, they'll be if I go in the day after they stock, and then say, well, then the scalpers got everything. Listen, I cannot sit up here and get into a tizzy. I just shop. I'll shop if it's there. It's there. If it's not, I'll go online. Yeah, yeah, I'm not just, paying five hundred dollars. Worry about a, a friggin' friggin'. Mm -hmm. I can't worry about a friggin' figure like that. It's no, just, I understand. You see, you're 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 mis you're misunderstanding what I'm saying about um the scalpers and all the other stuff. It's not a a, a worry as in oh man, bummer. Man. That's how people. That's how people talk about that's it. I think it's just uh, just a waste of time. That's not what I'm saying, and it's not what what you're saying is a waste of time right now. Because honestly, no one's saying that. What we're saying specifically, it's a shit show. Because the thing is this: if you don't have the connect, you cannot get your item unless you're lucky to grab it on site on a specific town where you get nobody visiting that target, and they actually you know have the item that you want. Because I live in New York, I could go to 
five different targets in Manhattan, and they're all gone. I could go to the Bronx. There's a few targets in the Bronx. Gone. I There's one right there by my house. Gone. Yeah. I, I, it, it, it's, 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 it's the nature of the beast, but we don't have to like it. And we accept it because, obviously, they, there's no other choice. But we can have our feelings about it and dislike it. We dislike it because we know that our chances are slim. Our chances are slim. So mm -hmm. going to online, like you were saying, it's all aftermarket stuff at that point because anything that's online's already been sold. No, I'm not saying go. I'm not directing people to go. I'm just telling you the, this is how they do it. You know, you have your it's like you'll have an online sale or you'll have a store sale. It's a Thing. it's both and it's already well they're not all they're not necessarily happening at this sometimes a tar that, target will have an online sale without having an in-store nope nope this is a holiday oh, that, yeah, that's totally untrue I'm I'm, I'm, i've experienced that of, i'm explaining to you a holothon event a holothon oh event. holothon well you're talking that's about holothon in general talking, yeah we're I only know. talking about holothon because that's the topic at, at, at hand right now okay. holothon event is a shit show because the scalpers get their hands upon it you know faster than we can including some of the people who are in store and sometimes just like Maz um had told me on the sidelines that the because of certain events like that they have um to put a, a, a cease and desist on their employees that you cannot purchase things if it hasn't been sitting in the store for more than an hour you get what i'm saying so it, they know people in there are buying shit to resell shit you know, so it, it becomes, uh, uh, um, yes, this is the economy. This is the, how the marketplace works. This is how, you know, capitalism is. Yes, we understand that. But the reason why we hate it, because it's a, it becomes a nerve wracking chase to see if you can grab something. If not, you, tr you play the waiting game and majority of the times for Holothon, the waiting game does not work in your favor. Yeah. Well, especially yeah. here in I, New York. I, 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 <clears throat> when, when all of these like the holothons and all that stuff come up i i just basically treat them like another day i i it's just <laughs> retail is retail so you basically hate the game I, you know trumbled us i just don't even pay attention to the game i just don't <laughs> just don't pay attention to it anyway <laughs> <laughs> Remember, That's all it's been this past week, though, is games. Right. Nothing but games, man. Nothing hey, well, hey. That's that's the uh, but that's um the, the uh, world. It's the way of the world. <laughs> it is. The world is full of games. Oh Everything yeah, burns. Uh, congrats, TX boy, for getting that Umbra a trooper. Oh, nice, nice, very nice. Ah, uh, oh, I was going to ask you guys about this. Well, is what. Uh, Go talk about uh, this. Trembles. Talking yeah, about earlier. 112 scale um, Sub Zero. That's from, I think, Mortal Kombat 10. That's awesome. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I think it's Mortal Kombat 10. If it, it's Mortal Kombat X. Yeah, Mortal Kombat 10. So, okay. so yeah, this is what McFarlane should have done a long time ago because they had the sculpts. But if they would have done the soft goods and stuff, it would have been nice. And this, having this Sub Zero as a one, you know, uh, 12 scale. I wonder how how well does it size up with the storm collectibles, or if it sizes up better with like uh, my snake eyes and my uh, uh, other Mezco figures, because um, sometimes they run a little smaller or they run exactly the right height. You just don't know. Like snake eyes, his hands and feet are smaller than the Mezco stuff. But if you, um, what you call it? If you um, stand him up to somebody that's a, a normal human size, he's about the same size as them. But if you put him actually with someone that's supposed to be his representation, that his representation is taller in that line. So it's like, it. Hopefully they do that one right, and it's like in the happy middle. If it's in the happy middle place, it works. I would definitely get it if they do a scorpion. Oh, yeah, man, gotta get it. And, and and who's doing that one? I'm sorry, that's a third party. Um, don't know. Okay. Um, JM. JM. JM Toys. 
Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Maz, do you Maz gets one. Maz There's gets first one. shot at some things. He works at a target. <laughs> yeah, he gets first shot, but it's within the first hour. Um, from what he told me. Good so, for him. So, but I don't have a problem with that. I think employees should get perks like that. I don't have a problem. No, but that's a perk. No, but that's a that's yeah. They a should get perk. It. no. But, but you know, no, you'll find a lot of collectors. Like, oh man, the, the employees, the employees are doing this. The employees are doing it. That's okay. Let the employees do it. Hand sculpt oh. is good. I like the hand sculpt. Yeah. Is this? Oh, nice. Reminds me uh, uh that one girl from uh, Kill Bill. <laughs> um, yeah. What you talking about? More, uh, yeah. Burst Nights. Very nice detail. That's an interesting mm -hmm. name. Burst Nights? Yeah. Who the tattoo on her sleeves? Oh, shit. That's cool. Oh, I like that. They gave you two different head skulls for two different characters. One has red hair and the other one. I has love the bullhorn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the bullhorn's price of admission. Oh, you got some platform platforms. Oh, no. Ankles. Crap. <laughs> ankle joints. Uh, uh, uh oh. Let's show ankle joints. Oh, nice sculpt. Yeah, yeah, nice. I like the sculpt. Yeah, that's good. Oops. Yeah, pretty cool looking figures. Thank you, Tremble. Hey. Mm -hmm. It comes with oh, that's yeah, an like interesting it. pose. <laughs> this is six scale. Wow. Hmm? What would you say, Lou? It's six scale, right? Yeah, this is six scale. Nice. Burst Nights? That's the name of the company? That's an interesting. Or World Box. It's hard to tell. You don't have so many things. You can't tell what is the name and what's the company or whatever. World Box. World Box. World Box. Okay. Uh, Yankee uh, Sojo. Sojo? Sojo. Sojo. Like Mojo. Jo, jo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, cool. Thanks for sharing, Trimble. Appreciate that. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah, um, moving on to Good old Tremble. Yeah, see if you guys know who this one is. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh oh, uh oh, uh, that's a Batmobile. <laughs> yes, sir, it is. Yeah, that's the uh, the um, the what's his face? The animated series, isn't it? Nope, no, no, what is it's it? The, that's the, the 89. Well, it's I, need uh, see, I need to see more of it. I can't tell what um. the hell's going on. <laughs> We put up a video, what was it, <laughs> three days ago? Three days ago, talking about a bunch of stuff. Okay. Um, but the one, that, the thing that caught my attention was that he's working on figures. Ah. Yeah. yeah. Um, he's doing um. No kidding. Seated figures for the Batmobile and the, the Batjet. So. Uh-huh. Um, um, they're they're going to be licensed, I guess. So mm -hmm. I guess they'll, they'll be DC. Um, Get out of here! Wow. Um, I'm not sure what he, he didn't announce what he's going to be making yet, but um, I guess we can stay tuned for that. They're, they're, uh, I think what he said is they're going to be priced around what Hot Toys does, but there's going to be very fewer. There's going to be much fewer quantity. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, we'll have to just stay tuned and see what uh, see what he does. He says he's got some sculptors and some painters, and mm -hmm. so. Looking forward to see what um, what uh, he he does in the future. So it's not just vehicles anymore. Well, no? it, well, it wasn't only just vehicles. Remember, he did one figure. Yeah, I got it. It's yeah. over there. I got it. <laughs> he did one figure. So it's nice to see that he's going to go yeah. beyond. Mm -hmm. But with licenses, there'll be head sculpts this time around. So, um, yeah, looking forward to see it. You know, there was a, a Facebook group uh, that we were hoping that Jazz Inc. will take on the Rhino from the PS5 video game. Oh, yeah. or, or video game. Who just popped in here? Mr. Montano. Hello, Yo, buddy. Hola, buddy. How's it going, man? Good. What's Good. up, buddy? Good to see you, everyone. Good old Alex is back. Hey, man. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, seen... so, sorry, yeah. I thought it was at 6.30 and then I was... Having an argument with a client, and it took me a little. Having an, oh boy, having an argument. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Was it resolved? No. Uh, <laughs> no. Oh, man. Damn. Stupid clients, man. So, 
How you been? Good. Been How time? are you? Yeah, it's been a long time. I've been really, really busy. Not to be I, I, I'm, I'm looking behind you there, buddy. It's looking real swell back there. Thank you. Yeah, that looks really help. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, hello. Yeah, oh, there are more yeah, there's more stuff up there, awesome, but bro. there's more stuff nice. up there of the stuff that I'm buying now. But yeah, sweet, cool. sweet. Oh, I see some DBZ back there now. Yeah, nice. yeah. I started getting into those. I don't have yeah. nowhere to put them, but yeah, they're pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, like it, it looks really weird to have them there, and yeah, yeah. and I have my my Saint Seiya figures up there. They're yeah. really heavy and they're <laughs> good. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I don't know where to put them. I need to get something. Right. Yeah, I get, need to Looks get great there. Like yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like the light Goku. that's on. Yeah. Oh, what I do you think about? Something. What do you think about jazzing jumping into the figure game? I was listening to you guys five minutes before this, but I didn't. I didn't see what they were doing. Uh, nothing's been announced yet, but he's just saying that uh, they're they're jumping in. Wow. Um, yeah, he's keeping it pretty close to the chest because uh, yeah. uh he doesn't want third parties to jump in and take it and because uh, that happened in the past when he mentioned like penguin and stuff like that and mm -hmm. so he's it, it's going to be uh, once he has a prototype he's, he'll announce them well yeah. I'm, I'm glad someone else is jumping in then that's pretty yeah. cool and if he has a license that's they're, they're going to be pricey <laughs> pricey oh, yeah. and yeah well, not well as big as a run. if we know his competition knows it all, it's already out there yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, they know what license he has. They don't know what figure he's going to be making. No, but they <laughs> no, they know he's getting into the figure game. Period. Yes, yes. that's enough of they a scare. <laughs> Just yeah. the fact that he's even going. Um, uh, I will let him know that uh, one thing that he needs to do is uh, get a better glue. Yes. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> why don't you Why don't you tell that to Mister Chan and, and Hot Toys? Every figure that comes out, people mm -hmm. they got parts breaking off of. Well, they're the unlucky ones. I'm. I've been. Knock on wood. I've you haven't had any. Uh, yeah. Me neither. Every, every once in a while, there's uh, some glue that you know that yeah. comes off. Piece comes but, off, but, but it's, uh, I mean, it's an easy fix. Uh, right. It's, it's a little some here and yeah. there. Yeah, like yeah. now that I'm buying this diecast figures from Sinsea, like man, dude, Hot Toys doesn't oh. have any QC issues. When you start buying this, you start noticing how bad yes. it gets and those are pricey like they are mm. almost a hot toys figure like yeah. they're 200 bucks wow. Wow. and Damn. dude you touch them without uh. gloves and paint comes off you it's, oh, it, I hate that. Uh, it's not good oh man yeah hot toys is the best with qc so every time i hear someone complain about that now i'm gonna be like no, no, no. <laughs> yeah they, they don't oh. know yeah they often they don't know often, often. Yeah, it's not. It's not fun. It's not fun. Hot Toys has yeah. the best QC in the world. <laughs> and I wanted nice. Yeah, certainly, those are the the, the Mesco. Nice, dude. They're pretty cool. Yeah, they they're cool, man. They they're awesome. Like all their soft goods is is just wow. It, it fits them. It fits nice. them so well. He's trying to sculpt this to work. Nice. Those are really cool. Yeah, it's really nice. It, it hits so many different um avenues, these turtles. They hit so many different avenues. So you got you got the Mirage look with the combo of the cartoon look, and you also get the movie look with the texture so you know it's like two different movies plus you know two different comic book adaptations just smashed together you know it, it, it's it's really cool um, they look really cool yeah they're, they're really detailed they're awesome um you know people uh have this thing where there's um uh, upper epsilon of mezco figures that are the top tier that there's no way you can beat them even if you made a cartoon version of them from another company there's no way you can beat them popeye's one of them right now mezco uh turtles is getting there it's it, it's already it's already up there um the fantastic four is another set dr doom um what other ip conan 
like that one has barely has any soft goods. Like they have to, you know, uh, supplement it with capes, cloaks, loincloths. And other than that, everything else is plastic. A little bit of die cast for the chains um, or chain mail on them. But most of it's plastic. And it's like literally they their best figures out. So um, weren't, wasn't a beam or blue weren't one of you going to get in that Captain Carter figure? Somebody, somebody, somebody mentioned a figure last week that was coming in, and I was like, oh, I need to ask you about it. Uh, oh, Captain remember. Carter? I had her. And I sold her. No, this, uh, I, I think... I have her coming there. tomorrow. Oh, it must have oh. been, must been you then, Blue. I'll wait till next it's week. The baller. It's always the baller. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait till next week because oh. I'm I'm curious. Cause it's it's just... it's Dimi's one. Dimi's getting, Dimi's getting a Gandalf. I'm considering it, Blue, not definitely, <laughs> definitely, but I'm considering it. So I'd like to hear your your take on it when you get it in. So that'll help. I would like to ask, though, um, be my watch my uh, review. There you go. <laughs> oh, I, That's I a already wait to I, advertise I, your dude, channel, <laughs> dude. I already went back and watched the review of yours uh, yesterday because I had oh, been nice. considering. Yeah, I've been considering the Wonder Woman eighty four. All right. That one so blew up I in views. And, oh, well, both my Wonder Woman reviews actually went up in views quite a bit. Um, I but I'm fine. I'm 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 finding where I'm being swayed not to get it. Really? Because there, I've heard some some issues with it. I I don't know if I'm going to get it now. What issues? Get it. Um, <laughs> the, oh, like the hands. Oh yeah. There, there's a uh, there's. The peg is off line. There's they did something on the pegs that is weird. It's like the peg isn't sticking out, it's coming off the side of it. Ugh. And people have been complaining about the hands pop off too often. Uh, and then I'm hearing stuff about the skirt. The skirt, yeah. every time you pose it, it pops up and, and you gotta pull the skirt out. But the skirt, the material is made so thin. Oh, that looks nice. nice. Oh, that's wow, crazy. that's it, that's die cast, yeah. yeah. Do, <laughs> yeah, dude, it's, it's so freaking. You know, cool. you know like, what that looks them. like? That looks like hematite. That almost looks like hematite. That looks like stone. Oh wow! Yeah, man, like that the looks detail like on these, but the QC on them, it's not good. Yeah. Mm. Oh, oh I'd be, I'd be oh, pretty awesome. enough of those tips. They yeah, they're pretty awesome. awesome. This is Hades. So. Nice. Yeah, yeah, that's that's. that's I mean, they're pretty cool. Like I, I. Wanted to show you this. They're pretty, pretty damn cool. Yeah. Anything? What else you get? Anything else? Oh, I have a, a ton up there, but just I just wanted to show you that one. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Yeah, they've yeah, been. That looks great. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're really, really cool. They're really, really cool. Like I'm liking this scale because you can fit more in one shelf. So, yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. So what I wanted to so. Beam, how do you? I mean, I know what you said about the figure. You gave it, I think you gave it a nine. No, you gave it an eight out of nine. I think it was. I can't remember. The Wonder Woman. Or yeah, the, the eighty-four. Yeah. No, the Wonder Woman eighty-four. I think it was. Was that an eight out of nine? I think. I don't hmm. remember to be honest with you. As well, let me ask you: Would you recommend me get the figure? Yes. Yes. Okay, that's all I need to hear. <laughs> Sculpt is a I think four. she's awesome. I don't. I don't know what uh, oh, people are doing with those wrist wrist pegs. They are. Yeah, yeah. I've heard it from um, more than one review, and they shown it. They actually show it. It's 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 weird. It's like it's 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 one of those slanted ones. Yeah, the connector's slanted to where it twists differently than the normal wrist peg. But mm -hmm. I, I've never had an issue with it's it. Like it's like Good. Moon Knight with Wonder Woman. Yeah, yeah. If I remember correctly, yes. My my room's a mess. Otherwise, I would go grab it. <laughs> And you've, um, well, I don't know about your environment. So do you have a fairly dust-free environment? How's the silicone? How have you been treating the silicone? Is it, you know what I, I mean? I haven't treated anything. I mean, it's, okay. it's still holding up. Okay. I mean, our climates are pretty close to similar, so. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't. I just wanted to make sure I got some, some more feedback. Because I've been hearing some things, and I was like, "Ah, come on, stop! Don't, don't." Because I, I would like to put her on Babe Row with uh, 
with my girl here. <laughs> Give me a second. Hang on. Get it. <laughs> Buy it. Yeah. yeah I, that, I, the, the head sculpt is, is terrible. <laughs> really? Which one? Yeah. Uh, the, See, I'm, I'm having an issue with the 1984 people. one. Oh, I, I liked not it. The golden, I... Not the golden armor. The uh, the regular one. Yeah. It's not good. It's really? not good. In my, it in my good opinion. It, wow. No, they, like I said, I, I always said, they, they've done two good sculpts. The training and okay. the golden armor. Those are the only two Gagadot sculpts that they've actually gotten. The other ones, garbage. Wow. Yeah, it's somebody else. Hmm. Yeah, somebody I, else. I, I, I didn't mind that 84 one. Look great to me. But yeah, I don't I, have it, so yeah. I even saw it in hand. You know, my brother has it. So um, yeah. I looked at her and it looks the same as the pictures. It's it's not Gagadot. It's not. But it's better <laughs> than the Justice League because that one was pretty bad. Yeah, that was that was also much worse, yes. Absolutely. Yeah, that one was yeah, one was really, um, the, really shitty. The eighty four one is closer, but still no cigar. Huh. Cigar yeah. was okay. I had her. Uh, I, I, I had her and I hated her. Can you come I, up I big, buddy? That figure, I hated it. Like the moment, like this I, one? no, no, the oh. the Justice League one. I hated oh. that one. What do you think yeah. of this one, Alex? Do you like this one at all? No, from this distance, I like her. I did too. <laughs> Here's the I, wrist like, peg. I don't know if it'll show up, but there it is. Yeah, it's oh, slanted. That's actually, interesting. Yeah, yeah, different. It's different yeah. than the normal one. I think a lot of actual females uh, characters have this type of wrist peg because it's smaller. Oh, okay. Um, now what? Yeah, now, but below, other than that, this is yeah, this is a great figure. Uh, again, the Blue silicone. I'm crazy about the scope, Beam. What do you think of the scope? Um, I, I don't think it's 100, percent but it is pretty damn close. I think it's like in 7.5. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I would give it a step. Yeah. All right. But well, um, I'm not jumping on her immediately. She still got to go down a few bucks yet. But I'm monitoring her. I yeah. have a, a 10 percent discount if you want it. Ten percent. Oh yeah, I've got I've got tons of them. If you if you want. <laughs> okay, let me let me let me first let me look around. <laughs> Thanks, guys. No, I appreciate it. I appreciate any help. Let me look around a bit. I, as long as I can get below two hundred, I'm good. That's what I got to do first. So, yeah, but if it's on a deal, you won't be able to use the. 10%. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because they, they. Well, if, if 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 sometimes if if I, you know, choke on my. <laughs> Edicts, you know, then I will uh change Choking up. What? I, I, <laughs> the what now? <laughs> oh, what? Never mind. Boy, did I say the wrong thing there. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> uh I just I, I just co continue to monitor until you know it gets where I need it to get. So yeah, yeah. Well, I have to ask Alex, sure what uh, about the uh, Justice League Wonder? Woman did you hate? Uh, I hate the, the sculpt. sculpt, the hair. The hair was horrible, oh. horrible, horrible. Yeah. Like, I remember just pulling, pulling it out of the box, and it got all big. And yeah, I didn't like it. The body was good. I liked how the armor looked. But the face, I hated it so much. Like, it didn't <laughs> yeah, look dude. like Gal Gadot at all. Wow. Yeah, they, dude, they, when, they, when they put up the promo shots, they used that training one room face. Yeah. I pre-ordered, yeah. boom, right away. As soon as I saw that face that they released, canceled. Yeah, it's and he, she looks like cross-eyed, and, and it's, it's not yeah, good. Yeah, she got like a dopey look on her face. Like, yeah. What's that, dude? Yeah. yeah, that was really bad. I, but I wanted a Wonder Woman. Yep. Uh, da, 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 da. And then putting that head maybe <sighs> under the helmet or something. Right. What did what, what did you guys think of the face the, the head scope for the uh, golden armor? Gold armor is good. Gold armor, yeah, that's that's Gal Gadot. You know, that's just as good as the training one, if not better. I don't know why they didn't use that one. Yeah. Yep. Well, they they're making a Jack Sparrow out of a movie that no one cares about. Because they're they're <laughs> hot toys with good ideas. <laughs> 
hey, that's you know they're the, they're the gold standard. Gold standard. Before we get in the actual, Which I never believed, and I still don't. But anyway, go ahead. Um, standard shits the bed. In so, art, they're bullshit. A few days ago, they did mention that their Batman's coming out soon. Uh, but there's uh, there's some uh, the introduction of a new sliding magnet track base and enhancements to the figure itself. Yeah, I was and, wondering what they meant by a sliding track base. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Maybe you can move the magnets underneath, just like I think it's that. Oh, uh, yeah. okay. Well, that would make sense. Um, <laughs> yeah, got to do something. Hopefully, about hopefully they'd lock in place or something like that, so you can set them. And then, if you wanted to, you could move it. They just constantly yeah. slide. Yeah, yeah. it's probably going to be a worse idea than what they have right yeah, now. Maybe it might not yeah. work out the way they want it to. Yeah. Yep. Um, they they, they, they got immense this month, so. Hopefully, if you if you ordered your Batman, hopefully you get it soon because yeah. I, I, I ordered it. Someone wants it. <laughs> you you ordered it? Yeah. I already oh, took your fine. Gandalf from you, bro. I don't, yeah. I don't have the money. Oh, uh, Alex, you know you'll find somebody out here that'll buy it. You're not gonna have a problem with that. That's <laughs> you, you will definitely it. not have a problem selling it. That's for that's, sure. That's funny. Mm -hmm. I'm still trying to find a Pennywise. Oh, yeah. And a lot of people are looking for a Pennywise. I thought nobody wanted it. And um, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Well, I There's went a lot with of the uh, one. which which what? Pennywise? You talking about the uh, the this Star Guard Pennywise? Yeah. That one. Nobody I wants would... this now. No, everybody wants it because they're so little. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I I went with the shit company, and uh, uh, I don't yeah. want. It. I want that Tim Curry one. You went with what company? A shit company. Uh, Turd Blunderland. Oh. I mean, just recently you've done business with them? No, that was, that was back when ago. they put him out. Oh, back back, back then. Okay, got you. Yeah. I, I, well, man, I do, I really dig that, that, that uh, diorama piece. It's so cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 The Hot Toys one was better, though. Yeah. I did. Yeah. yeah I, I, well, the Hot Toys one was, was an all purpose, which was really cool. You know, I, I even have but, that Hot Toys base uh, that my brother gifted me. Waiting for this son of a bitch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah, then, uh, uh, yeah. And, and our and our's got to get their deliverables okay. together. Um, yeah, they by, really do. By, yeah, by the third year, you should. Uh, normal businesses need to be turning a profit by their third year. It's customary for businesses not necessarily to turn a profit the first year, sometimes not even the second. If you're not starting right. to see profits in the third year, you're in trouble, Jack. So they're going to have to start getting these figures out. They're, they're in there, what, almost two years going in. They yep. got to get their stuff out faster. This is this is not good. They started mm -hmm. having QC issues with, with, yeah, with man. Gandalf because they tried to That's rush like, production. Yeah. Hmm. Like, yep. So yeah, six days. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I I prefer waiting longer. And True. Something. Yeah. Yeah, but but you get you get to a point where you, yeah. you, it's just not going to work for you no more. It's just oh, yeah, as a business, yeah. But as oh, as us, it's like I rather yeah. wait a little longer. Than, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. And and you know it's your your degree. <laughs> Degree of patience and discipline yeah. just does does play a big part. So yeah, yeah. And, and my my Gandalf finally shipped. Nice, uh, so good for you. Ship. Yeah, man. I want to see these guys succeed, but man, they got to get these figures out. Yeah, yeah. yeah they they're supposed to, they supposedly wrapped up or wrapped up production uh, by three or something like that, or times three. That's why four. this year should be the year. Like before the end of this year, you should start seeing them. Coming out a little fat. They got to be doing it by the end of the year, at least. Yeah, and they said the because the where, where's their revenue going to be for the for for year three if they don't get they got to get stuff out this year. They said what takes the longest is the rooted hair, so they got yeah. to hired more people for the rooted hair, which they did. Yeah. At least that's yeah. what John said the last time he, he was through. He yeah. said they got <clears throat> other people now. So I know you got to go through training depending upon, you know, what that takes and stuff. So, well, 
I'm trying to move a ball glass. Uh, oh, really? I just saw that a bunch of boxes were missing pieces, like some people were missing hands. And... Ah, it just oh, can't damn. Do this. Yeah. Apparently, they were trying to do oh, a movable no. eyeglass. Movable glass eye with Gandalf? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I remember they tried that, that something new with the eyes and then it didn't uh, work out, which is, which is good. I think they tried the, the, um, uh, the J and D magnet eyes. Yeah. Oh, I really? Think that's what they tried. Okay. Yeah. Like, please uh, don't do that. Please don't. It, do that it would shit. help if you did all your R and D first and then announced. Just, right. just, just do all your R and D. Yeah, that's what it's there for. Yep. Mm -hmm. You get your concepts and you work them out, and then you take them to the production line. But mm -hmm. you don't be putting stuff out while you're. This doesn't work. Doesn't, <laughs> doesn't help. Oh yeah, we can, that um, that Queen Studios Hulk. That uh, that third scale Dude, is that a statue or it's a, a movable figure? statue? <laughs> so we're coming <laughs> up with new movable. terms. No, that's what it is. It's a movable statue. It's a movable it's articulated well, statue. McFarlane, it's, McFarlane, it's I've got feet are planted. Movable. It's feet yeah. are planted and it's elbows and neck moves. I've got a uh, I've got a McFarland statue story. right over How right above my computer and Too much. It, and it moves like five thousand. I don't oh remember. no! They wanted four something, didn't they? I think so. Yes. It was forty-eight. It was it um, was damn near five. Too much money. If I remember correctly. But this thing's freaking awesome, dude. This thing looks it's great. It's awesome, but it's not like it articulates all that much. <laughs> yeah. Dude, <laughs> the hair. I know. Wow. Right? Oh, the the the, the figure itself great. is incredible. Wow. Oh yeah. Uh, the price. If it were yeah. quarter scale, I would probably consider it. Dude, that's uh -huh. that's that's Ruffalo Hawk right there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Dude, yeah, it looks great. Big. It's too big. Yes. Even it, yeah, even down third. to the sweaty skin. Yeah, wow. He's got the hair on the chest. And the, he's got and the, the hair on the arms. Hairs on the chest. His hair. Al Alex. Alex. Is, <laughs> Alex is starting to. <laughs> this thing looks great. <laughs> feel a little. Salivate. Salivate. Yeah. Salivate. <laughs> And so the, so Alex, the arms move. They show them bending the arms at the elbows, and they show them moving the head up and down, and then that's Man. it. But that's Honestly, it. That that's all it moves. Yes, that's freaking yeah. cool. And that's that's all right. I mean, look could at you imagine? It. I could imagine yeah. freaking out my kids with this thing, though. <laughs> just just move it very every once in a while. When oh yeah, yeah, and they'll come in and go. Wait a minute, did, did that thing move? <laughs> <laughs> uh, they have a video of them. Yeah, I I saw it. It's 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 quite cool. Um, somewhere but man I, I never liked the the hot toys hulk because of the seams in the shoulders oh yeah but this one oh, yeah. Yeah. hey i don't it, it they the, hulk, the, the um the wonder woman treatment uh you know make that mold if they did another hulk that would be uh, uh, just a the scene yeah they could do that like hellboy yeah yeah that was and that yeah. was great yeah. What, what was that? Yeah, you were saying something, Lou? That um, yeah. See, Hulk is fine for me. He's a big ass toy. He has some seamless parts. Granted, the shoulders they could have done it like Hellboy, but you could barely pose that Hellboy in the yeah. shoulder. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. The but they did supplement the issue for the seams by giving us that seamless mm -hmm. torso for the Hulk smash pose, which everyone loves. Yeah, the, the yeah that one was pretty cool. That was for for Age of Ultron, right? Yeah, yeah the, that's the one I have. Edition. Yeah, that one was really cool. That's the so one now the forearms moves. I don't think it goes all the way up to the shoulders. Just the Man, forearms. Nope, just the forearms, yep. At the this elbow. is the best Hulk statue I've seen. A, a lot of people have already been saying that, Alex. They they feel the same way that you do. It's like yeah. it's like the best they've ever seen. Mm -hmm. And it's it's the best I've seen so far. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is mm -hmm. this thing is incredible. 4,400. Yeah, that's why it's the Incredible Hulk, I guess. Part I would the, never buy it, but I think it's awesome. Yeah, me neither. Not at 4, you mm -hmm. you yeah. might as well just throw a dead body. You might as well just throw a dead body on the stand because, man, that's a lot of silicone they have to maintain, bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? Like I said, if it were quarter scale, then I'd probably consider it. Yeah, because that's a lot just to maintain. Because even quarter scale would, would work as a whole. They that's might, they, if they see scale. that this succeeds, they might go and do a quarter scale. I think they've done. I, mean, yeah, but I, think scale. I think they've done half scale and then go to quarter scale. 
with some mm-hmm. with some statues. I think they've done that. Yeah, but the thing is, it, it ticks off a lot I mean, of statues. I don't know collect. how big that. It looks like a six scale cap there. It, it's standing next to, but. Uh, I think that one is a quarter scale. I think. You think that's a yeah. quarter scale? Yeah, okay. that's a quarter scale. Or is it a hot toy? Huh. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> but I think yeah, if it were a quarter scale size, I think I would consider it because I need a Hulk like this. Dude, yeah, I would rather get this in quarter scale than yeah. buying the Hot Toys version. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had your Hulk, I, and the, I mean, the body doesn't bother me much. He's wearing the armor, so it, you know. Right. And that one is cool. The the one from Ragnarok. That, that was oh yeah, that's mm-hmm. awesome. Yep. The helmet and everything. Yeah. Yep. It's a great piece. And this, this like is, whoever up. buys this. Yeah. yeah. You know your yeah. wife loves you if you buy this. <laughs> uh, yeah. A lot of my so wife doesn't love me. Kill me. I think they said <laughs> was it 4400? Yeah, something like I know it was four yeah, something. 4400. 4, 4, yeah. We all need a Hulk like this, yeah. Some yeah. people do yeah. have a Hulk like like this. <laughs> if, uh, if, uh, if, uh, a lot of people have a car worth this Hulk. <laughs> Yeah, Gladiator Hulk is a beast as well. So. Oh, yep. I thought my Gladiator Hulk is a yeah, beast. We make him look like a third party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Size of a child. Mm-hmm. But yeah, but yeah. yeah. Imagine that, that box being delivered. Can you? Yeah. Oh, right. $800 shipping. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yay, yay, yay. Yep. Damn. Fun times. Uh, Moving on, <laughs> yeah, right? Moving on to the right. Moving on to the hot toys themselves. They oh. did finally release um, Tyler and Johnson. Right? Uh, Tyler oh, yeah. And Johnson. Yeah. Uh, oh, that those those figures. Oh yeah. These um, are the last two. Um, other from, than um, the five hundred first trooper. <laughs> Where is this from? I can't remember. Oh, Warriors Warriors of the future. Of the future. Yeah, I remember Warriors. these guys. Yeah. Those are some gnarly looking outfits, man. Yeah, um, the helmets are cool. Or the masks are cool. Yeah, <laughs> man. Look at all of that. Yeah. Johnson, Johnson here. I'm not Johnson. Johnson. Like Johnson. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> They look like pretty that. vicious. Anybody mm-hmm. getting them? Nope. No. Nah, me neither. But it's cool. Of course, mm-hmm. they're not chicks. If they were chicks, maybe. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, got it, Lou. You're the man. Hey, you've been no, preaching it for a Chinese hot girl summer. Movie. You got it. Yeah, hot, it's hot girl summer. Yep. <laughs> yeah, hot girl summer. <laughs> yeah, sorry, guys. You can't come on with me. Yeah, I got priorities. Tyler. All right. Yeah, they look pretty good. Mm-hmm. I like the blue ones better than the red ones. Yeah, same. Yeah. Again, I haven't seen the movie. Wasn't the, the movie, movie supposed was to be okay. already? It could have been better. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen it. It could have been better. Definitely. Better. <clears throat> <clears throat> Are they fighting Groot? Look at that. <laughs> well, it's, fighting it's, Groot. Ah. it's basically plant aliens that mm. are taking over the, the earth, and um the planet is so sentient that um that you'll have like these uh roots that would attack you mm. and stuff. It, it, it's weird. Alien creatures and <laughs> bugs and shit like that. Hmm. Yeah, but yeah, I agree. I mean, the the robot details mm-hmm. are actually really yep. good. HT always kills it with the robot detail. Yeah, with mechs. Yeah, I think we're, we're... That is, that's amazing. Mm-hmm. That nice, 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 nice. All right. So before Lou's got to run off to work, I think that's pretty soon, huh? Yep, pretty soon. I'm right now. I'm getting right. ready. Oh, okay. Let's talk about. Let's bring that up. Let's bring up let's button. Let's bring up this. Yes, sir. Bring up the and yeah, the 
<laughs> yeah. Stunning uh, hair craftsmanship. So they're they're they're, they're going to be making dreadlocks. Um, this irritates me because you. Can, uh, I, I would mean, give it an ask. I had to pay a pretty damn big ass amount of money for the Jack Sparrow that I have. Mm. Um, yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, yeah, they're well, doing this artisan. They're yes, they're going to be released. They're probably releasing another Jack Sparrow along with it, like they did with um, the other two artisans. But why Dead Men Tell No Tales? Why do yeah. you guys think Dead Men Tell No Tales? Do you think it's because it's their last license they had with <laughs> or do you think it's just them being lazy and wanting to reuse stuff? Uh, you guys know better than me. I don't even follow the IP, so I'll listen up. It's lazy toys. It's lazy toys. Well, I see a, a second opportunity for uh, a freaking um, what you call it, the the captain's uh, helm with the wheel. So mm -hmm. you know the ship's wheel. Yeah. That's like the uh, easiest thing to do. A lot of people prefer that over the the um the shark and wrecked. cannon, right? Yeah, the mm -hmm. shipwreck version. So. I'll, I'll, I'll trade with somebody. That yeah, Bim. Bim, <laughs> Bim, you got the one where he has the. Uh, I have the wheel. Yeah. yeah. Now, are they going to come out with that same diorama piece with the uh, the rooted with the artisan? It would it it appear like so. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. If, we don't know for sure because this is just a tease. But and mm -hmm. what is um, your what what is your particular anger or gripe with this? That it's going to be limited. I don't okay. like. I don't like the limited. I like everyone to get a chance to get it if they want. And do you want? Because it's just going to be like all those other artisans. Like yeah. I'll be. I'll be at work when it's when it goes live, so I won't even have a chance to get it. Gotcha. And then you do, you do, so you want the artisan version when it comes. I'll take out? the artisan. I'll take another Jack Sparrow. Absolutely. Okay. One hundred percent. Mm -hmm. But I'll miss out on the artisan. Because, like I yeah. said, I'll, I'll be at work when it drops, and yeah. I won't have time to grab it. Yeah. And that's what pisses me off. They do and this then it'll be all. like two hours, and uh, Sideshow will announce it, and then two hours later, it'll be up. And I'll be I'll probably be sleeping <laughs> for work, just like uh, <laughs> with the uh, Umbra Trooper. When those, when those assholes uh, said, <laughs> oh, we're going to put it up, and then... You know, I'm I'm sleeping through this shit because I got sure you put it Again, up. We're I, I was at work. I was at yep. work for that. Yeah, they didn't even give us a day notice. Not you know, not like that. It was no, like it was like it was like a thirty minute notice that I got. It was like thirty minutes. The tier we were going live at like freaking three o'clock or one o'clock or crap, whatever the time it was so for them. Insane. Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah, it would have been three o'clock here. Uh, uh, an hour, an uh, hour, half hour. That is insane, bro. You should let people know like a week in advance. My God. Yeah. I, it, it would be fair. A <laughs> week in I, advance. I probably wouldn't be so people pissed. People get their finances advance. together. Yeah. You, you know, you wonder why these hours. companies don't think about this shit. I yeah. think that's their idea of making it fair. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, yeah, maybe. Show. Thank you, shit show. Thank you. Oh, Hot those day. assholes canceled my my figures. I told you guys. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because my credit card expired and I didn't know, and they didn't even send me a warning. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It was just a. All right. See ya. Yeah. Yeah. Like. <laughs> Who's sideshow? Yeah. Thanks for yeah. The well, free the money. payment didn't go through. Uh, we can't give you your deposit back because yeah, your <laughs> shit show. Yeah. <laughs> Bad answers. Yeah. Yeah, I only got like a few more orders with them, and then I'm done. What? 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 With shit show? Yeah, you're not. Oh, wow. I'll order. I'll order from somebody else. Wow. I've already used up my points, so I'm good. Wow. I mean, I'll be getting points off this stuff that I, that's finally delivered, but yeah, we'll see. Will, will you? Will you? Will you go back for their uh, the Black Fridays and things like that? Because that possibly it's got to be a Friday. really good deal. Oh, it's it's cool. got to be a really good deal. Yeah. I got you. They're bogos, maybe. Hmm. Right, right. Yeah, I'd probably go with them. For a, 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 using them as a standard, yeah. or as a consistent. But yeah, I'll you go to somebody else. Yeah, yeah, 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, somebody could get some pastor. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, faster and than uh, three months, three to six months after they released. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Say, you're the state size distributor. You're the key person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you still have to wait three months to get it over here. Yeah. Or or it goes on wait list, and then you go to other places, and, and you find that they got it in stock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I've seen when I was collecting hot toys a ton of times i've seen i I saw on ebay that people had figures before sideshow yeah yep Mm -hmm. and it's like they probably got them from sideshow so it doesn't make sense the distribution is crazy what was that loop the description the distribution is crazy because what they do is this they would set they would take their big shipments right and whoever ordered from the most you know amount yes. that's what they get rid of the first yes and like part it so that way they can get to what got to their warehouse for their sales reason being is because um what you would call it like anybody that's in california that's nearby their loading docks that gets theirs they get theirs first a lot of the times they get theirs first yeah we're not talking about hong kong we're talking about you know coming to the u.s getting distributed to be a sideshow so or they will get their hands on it first the ones that usually don't get theirs first and they have to wait is like big bad toy store yep usually mm-hmm. unless it's second batch if it's second batch you're waiting for sideshow yeah. <laughs> these, these are, at least are for, for hot toys yeah. yeah for hot toys yeah. that, that's what we're talking about for hot toys yeah, and those some bitches are afraid of their own shadow in their warehouse. There's yeah. an eBay seller in California. I think his name is Maybang or something like that. He's pretty good. Yep. He's pretty yeah, good. I've ordered from him. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. Yeah. yeah, and he gets everything way sooner than Sideshow. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Somebody gotta connect. Somebody gotta connect. <laughs> I wish this Jack Sparrow was from Black Pearl. I wish I too. I, I I would rather also have seen like to see uh, a licensed Barbosa. Absolutely. Um, That's one updated I'm for. Elizabeth updated Swan. Davy Jones, Elizabeth yeah. Swan, Will Turner. I, mean, yeah. I get Johnny Depp is the, is the star <laughs> of the show, but you know, continue your lines for Christ's sake. Mm-hmm. Do you think? Do you think they purposely don't so that? Down the road, months, weeks down the road, they can always pull back and find something to throw at Sometimes. You. Sometimes I think they do, yeah. But we've never seen a prototype other than Jack. We don't see no one else. That's yeah. the that's yeah. the thing. We don't see no one else. Okay. Like, Artisan is something new, right? Yeah. And because it's new, it's like, okay, taking something that's old and just putting hair on it. They did it with the Joker. They did it with Wonder Woman. They're doing it now with Jack Sparrow. So, and they did it with Anakin. So it's like they have it. It's reuse of what they already had. They just, you know, throwing some a mop on it, you know? In this case, you know, how much of it is the same and how much of it is different? Because if you look and compare and contrast with Anakin, it's the rolling eye system that's new mm-hmm. and the hair, right? Possibly yeah. a newer body, possibly a newer body, but. The tailor rings all the same. Yeah. The thing is, and no the newer material. The base. Yeah, and no yeah. newer material. Same materials. stupid same leather. Material. Same pleather, yep. exactly. And then you're also looking at like the bases and stuff like that. So, like that droid, uh, flame lava droid shit that um, Dark Side <laughs> Anakin has. You're not gonna see that anywhere else. That's the only time you're gonna see it. Mm-hmm. They're not bringing it back. So it's like, you know, this is a second opportunity to get the figure. But you're not gonna get everything that comes with it. You need to get hair. So, you know, like I see, you know, as being point of getting upset because of the backtracking for something that he wanted now that is becoming available in both rooted and non-rooted. So it's like, motherfucker, if I just wait, you know, but why this one? You know, like it, it becomes uh, you know annoying yep. at this point. Annoying. But yep. good thing is is that I don't have to buy everything anymore because I am out of space. Uh, I got uh, shit that's already like inbound. Talking about Batmobile. Talking about uh, 
freaking motorcycles, common riders, and all that mm -hmm. other kinds of shit that's going to take up a lot of space, uh, sewer dioramas. So it's like I got to make sure that I don't get sucked into something that I might enjoy for a short period of time, but I'll forget about shortly after. So it's mm -hmm. like, eh, like I'm starting to feel like way with some of my my nostalgia uh, pieces, mm -hmm. but then I go back to it and I hold it and I'm like, nah, I made the right decision to get in it because, you know, it is not something you're going to see often. So I might as well, <laughs> you know, enjoy while I have it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. And um, uh, Texas boy. Uh, about completing Bad Batch, but not the line like the Guardian. So, like, how many people have been waiting for a Drax? Yeah, yep. like, I had, I traded my, I traded my Golden Armor Wonder Woman for a Drax. Luckily, it was a, you know an even trade or whatever. But, dude, Drax is expensive. Yes, yep. and there's only one. <laughs> and then yep. by the time you get him, he's probably beaten up pretty good. Yep. Mm -hmm. Especially now, so. We need another Drax. They need to do another Drax and stop fucking around and, and, and get it done. Yeah. Shit, we they still wait for the third body. party. We still wait for the third party. The third party yeah, still hasn't third... released. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like even third parties are taking their time dishing it out. That's funny. It seems to that's oh. even if it's still continued. Maybe they had to stop. Right. Maybe they got yeah. caught. Maybe they did get caught because honestly, um, you been saw it with the yeah, because they came with the the vest hoodie that mm -hmm. was in the Christmas special. That was yep. supposed to go with the, oh, yeah. the the mantis. That was supposed to go with the mantis exactly. So yep. you know, it was the same jacks from the first one. No different head sculpt, no nothing. But right. you got the jacket. Mm -hmm. So and, and um, you know, it would have been nice to pair up, but we're not gonna see that. And if we do see it, it should have been up already for order, and it's not there. Okay. Right. Yep, not there. Oh, I just saw that it's RSVP. Right. Which one? Which one's uh, RSVP? The one with the hoodie, with the suit. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. oh, yeah, that that one's RSVP. But see, so is um Purple Rain Spider Man Miles Morales, and yeah. so is the um what you call it the freaking um the the speeder the speedster suit. For uh, Spider-Man from the PS4 video game, those fig mm. those figures is not coming out. Yeah, mm. they're, they're not coming out. They're like they're gonna hold on to that shit until there's n you know nothing else to get because majority of the stuff that they have for the PS5 video game, it's not all new. Some of it it's just like nobody really likes the new suits. You know, if you look at the suits that are there, they're like, oh, this is cool, but this is not comic book. Well, this is cool. This is a, a artist interpretation. Do I really want this? No, not really. I want something from the comics. I want something that's that's iconic, reminiscent you know, of what I remember reading. That's why mm. Superior Spider-Man is perfect. Mm. Yeah, the problem is though, right now it seems very hot. Now the video game versions of um, <coughs> characters into figures is a big deal now. So, oh yeah, it definitely right now with with the hot toys. Yeah, and their uh, Umbra. <laughs> yep. Yeah, the video trooper. game series as well, and again limited. And it's not not only does this piss me off because it's limited. Not everyone has got a chance to get it, and I'm happy for those who did. Again, I was at work, couldn't get it because I, I was at work. Yeah. I was Sleeping. asleep. Night shift. Night yeah. shift, baby. And not only did this this brought out oh, fucking scammers. Good. Yeah. This one brought out fucking scammers. They're trying to get people to trade their crosshair for this figure or whatever, vice versa. Dude, what the hell's going on with crosshair selling? Right, for yeah, crosshair. What's going yeah. on? Yeah. It's, low, low it's because of season two or the season three, right? Season three. It, yeah. season but three. I, I don't, I don't get the the southern love for crosshair. Like, it's because it. of the new season. You, they, there's so much more. I don't know. But, but so much more love for him, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, right? Yeah. You get yeah, the good. hell out of here. Yeah, yeah eight, I'm not doing it. Eight to nine hundred dollars is what I've seen them sell for. No. Uh, I'm not doing it. That just put pulled me out of completing the team. If one figure yeah. is gonna be o almost a grand, I'm not completing the team. That saves me space. Yeah. Granted, but, uh, I really just want record. Records waitlisted now too, so but not, yeah, it's just like whatever. I like I I can see a figure that it's limited like this one. Like I don't know how many units they're making. 
But if it's only a thousand and it goes to six hundred, okay, well, on I get it. Show, it I get it. Fifteen hundred. Okay, but if this one goes up to five hundred dollars, I get it. Okay, it's limited, yeah. whatever. Mm -hmm. But a regular edition figure that's nine hundred bucks right now. And yeah. it, right. Oh, yeah. So stupid. Well, that, looked, like, well, that uh, was a smaller batch though, too, because. If if it were anything like the rest of the Bad Batch, there'd, there'd be some sticking around because Hunter's still there and Hunter and Echo are both still there, based yeah, on yeah. Sideshow. I mean, and, you can uh, find Wrecker on other places, but Wrecker's gone from Sideshow as well. Yeah, or at least waitlist waitlisted. Tech is the only one to pre-order. Yeah. Oh, damn, this Trooper game is dangerous, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but see, they, this, they do this all the time when it comes to teams. They, yeah. they do this all the time when it comes to teams. Like this is the first um, Star Wars team that they've completed in a short period of time, but they didn't, you know, give us the proper amount. They made too much of one or two figures than the other figures and just cut their losses. Yeah. Like, oh no, we'll, yeah. we'll cut it here. And then the third season comes out, he becomes, you know, the Messiah, and then now he's the hardest yeah. figure to get. And it's like, really? 15 so they should have like, made the same amount all the way across the board. Yeah, yeah. but but see, and then what they also do is they stimulate third parties. Like Hot Toys is not doing themselves favors when they do shit like this. That's right. true. Because a third party come along, all right, we'll do some troopers now, and it's over. I mean, look at all of, we got what three three third parties right now doing Star Wars. Yeah, but none of them hold the candle to the stock, the Hot Toys product. No, That's no, I understand that. Right. And fair, fair. But then there are those out there, you know, they just they just don't have the money and they'll settle. I mean, you better believe those some of these third parties are going are going I mean, they are selling out the uh, like the Queen Amidala and things mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, uh, see the Queen the Queen Amidala is no different than a geisha. You can literally put it there, see it, and know yeah. what it is. Yeah. When you start ex examining it up close, that's when you're like, okay, I can see some of the imperfections. I can see some of the likeness, some of not the likeness. But when you're talking about a Jedi, that it's like really, 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 really bad. You're like, oh, no, 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 no. There's no way I'm buying this. this you know this what like I'm really hitting. looking for? Christian, you're wearing the a acolyte figures. <laughs> what what? <laughs> acolytes? <laughs> Dude, they're, they're, a black series that it's six inch. They're already coming out. They already announced black series. Black right, series I don't want. I don't want any acolyte stuff. I don't know. I, I like. It I is so it. weird, man. Black <laughs> series will bring out every mm -hmm. figure of every show. Hot Toys brings out one. Black series will have all the figures out. A year before, a year before Hot Toys even gets one out. Probably Hot Toys is gonna release a ton of Facolite figures, and they're never gonna release a Gentor figure. Yep. Or if they, or if they do, they're gonna, gonna hang around well, a long we still, time. We still have another season though of Andor, so maybe. Yeah, a little, there's hope, I guess. Yeah, there's maybe. some. Maybe some they'll hope. release a, a storm. Don't trooper. do that. Don't give me hope. <laughs> Why? <laughs> But Alex, yeah. you watch, well, man. They're gonna, they're gonna drop them. You're right. They're probably gonna drop five, six, seven acolytes. Acolytes that no one cares about. No mm -hmm. one cares about. <laughs> and I'm finding it funny because I'm hearing like some of you guys who are, I mean, like really died in the wool Star Star Wars fans that like just about every freaking thing. Some of these guys are like, I don't even like this. I'm like, wow. <laughs> Yeah, it does, it does look real. I mean, it, it's not a whole lot you can take from a teaser, but just just nothing going on in it. You don't look at it and go, "Man, can I? I can't wait to see this." It's like, what the hell is it? Yeah, I, I did a good trailer though. Um, it, I mean, it was it didn't like wow me, but it it, it intrigued me a little bit. Yeah, yeah. but no. Well, guys, I'm at work. I'll catch y'all later. That's why. Good I to see you, man. It's been a while. Take care. Yeah. Likewise, likewise. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe. You already know what to do. And you know, if you guys are interested in any of these things, put it in the comment section. Let us know. Let us know. And this right here, this this Umber Trooper is a debacle. It's it, it's disgraceful. <laughs> it's disgraceful. It's disgraceful hey. because it's it's, yeah. it, it's no head sculpt. There's no head sculpt. There's three helmets, and that's an army builder completely, and you're going to limit an army builder. That's stupid. 
It's money left on the table. Too much money left on the table. But I digress. I'll catch y'all later. Bye-bye. Later, bro. Thank you. That's what what they do at the top of the food chain. (laughs) And they make stupid ass decisions. And that's what they continue to do. Uh, Oh, and and there was somebody selling their um, crosshair for uh, 600 bucks, but no head scope. With no heads. I saw that. I saw that. I I, I saw that and I was like, what is but, going you know. on? What is going on? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but also, you do want to pay attention to some of these posts. Because if you pay attention, some of these folks, a nine, $900 crossing, then you look, oh, man, this thing's been up. This guy posted this thing a year, two years ago. You know what I mean? Mike, but people are selling them. That's what's crazy. Oh, no, I agree. Well, eBay, don't get me and, wrong. And on the sold listing, yeah. there, there's some that went for six, seven hundred bucks. It's ridiculous. And mm-hmm. people are buying them. I, I, I'm sure they are, but I, it's just it's any normal person would think about it it's twice. Mind boggling. Right? Yeah, any normal. <laughs> yeah. In the show. Oh, unfortunately, well, we're living in, in times of uh, what's the word? Proper word? Ill normalcy? It? Well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I, I all weekend, man. This has just been like the buzz. I've been hearing so folks have just been going mad, crazy, mm-hmm. upset all, over this thing. It's something mm-hmm. else. And this is this is from uh, Battlefront Two. Yep. No mm-hmm. idea. And like, why couldn't they give us like, uh, um, what's her name, Iden Versio or something like that? Uh, uh, Gina Carano's yeah, from, uh, from, from, character. Yeah. Are you ever going to see anything? Well, you're not going to see Gina Carano's anything of hers being produced. No, uh, uh, Gavankar. Different oh. actors. Oh, 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 okay. Gotcha. No, uh, yeah, oh, I thought she was... yeah, oh, Gina. Yeah, her first name is Gina. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was getting confused. Okay. Um, I'm hoping Mars actually still does that uh, Gina Carano, though. Um, right. Mm-hmm. I'll get it. I, I, I well, let me. Yeah. I'll consider. I'll consider. I'll it. totally I'll, get one. Totally oh yeah, it. yeah. Do it. Go with the freaking Mando. Absolutely. I'll buy two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Said, we're still waiting for uh, for Cal Kestis, like mm-hmm. <laughs> the, the a scout trooper, and no, no Cal. Nothing. Right. But that's why I'm thinking that. They're gonna do yeah. that with Andor. They're gonna release a stormtrooper from the show, and, and they did. Didn't they, they, they did a death nothing. trooper. Or, this no, is how much crosshairs been going for. It's it's, it's <sighs> somebody parted his ass out. No, <laughs> everything. I bet it's a Chinese guy. There's a Chinese guy <laughs> that always. Sells oh sports. my god! I, this is. It takes time. Seven seventy, six sixty one, seven fifty. What? Could you scroll? What, I'm sorry. Before no, scroll back up for me, please. I saw. Keep going. Keep going. Right there. Hot Toys Bad Batch Crosshair Complete sold out. Eight hundred bucks. Eight hundred bucks. Yeah. Plus shipping. Can you can you put up? Can, is it possible to post? A sale or make it look like a sale is made and it wasn't? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Maybe. I'm not familiar with the, uh, eBay, so. All right. If you, if you don't pay for something, like if you make a best offer, after two weeks, they just re... No, what I'm saying is the person that's... Okay, like the person that, that okay, sold that, sells that figure for 800 um, oh, where was I going with it? Yeah, a lot of those, yeah, yeah sold. I, I just They're lost, sold. I just lost my train. It'll, it'll come back to me. But uh, oh, oh, what I was saying is that uh, I, I'm wondering how much, how much buffoonery goes on with stuff like this, like where people will post something was sold and when it actually wasn't. Then repost it again. Mm. Like when an auction goes through and then they decide not to sell it to you for uh-huh. a lot of more money. 
Uh -huh. There's all well, kinds it's too of low of denying the sale. Yeah. That kind I, of shit. I, 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 I don't believe that too many. all of these all of these figures sell at these enormous price. I, I believe some do. There's people yeah. like with deep pockets mm -hmm. and they don't give a damn. But I really believe a lot of times there's a lot of buffoonery goes on with these sellers. I really mm -hmm. do. Maybe yeah, probably. eBay doesn't have the best reputation it used to have either. There's a lot no. of crap that gets through. eBay is no longer a, a real safe place to go. No, because um, their customer <laughs> services sucks too. So. Yeah, and, and 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 they favor the the uh, sell a buyer over the seller. <laughs> Bullshit. Yep, that's that's ridiculous. Would never yeah, I, I use I, I I've gotten a few things, but I usually I'll go to Amazon before I go to eBay. Same. <laughs> <laughs> Same. You know what I'm saying? Their customer service is really good. Yeah, um, and and I'm I'm glad I joined Prime, dude, because man, you order a figure in the morning and it's there that after at, at your house that afternoon. I love it. Yeah, I mean, can't be and they're just about completed. They just built a brand new distribution amazon has a distribution center here in detroit now so that's gonna there's be one here in the cities too in that's Twin great cities. that's great because you get stuff even <clears throat> mm -hmm. yeah love it yep, yep. but yeah we didn't have much else to talk about other than being pissed off about <laughs> umbra <laughs> umbra <laughs> and uh limited it's just mainly the limited and that what pissed yeah. me off last week about the Umbra mostly was all those scammers that were trying to come out and screw people over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And hot you, now you're sure. saying scammers, not scalpers. You're saying scammers? Scammers. Scammers. Like, hey, I was able to get an Umbra, Umbra, Umbra uh, trooper. I'll trade you your crosshair for it. Yeah. Shit like that. And they, you know, some people would bite on it. for it. Even if they mm -hmm. didn't bite on it, I mean, I'm sure there was somebody out there. You know, yeah, Whoa, not, you know, there's a lot of let's face it, there's a lot of people where money's no object. Yeah. Yeah. Keep forgetting, United States has more millionaires than any, any country in the world. But even if, like, it still hurts if someone takes a thousand oh, sure dollars, if they rip you Absolutely. off, like, you, you can have a lot of money, it's still it's gonna piss you off. And oh, most yeah. of the time, these, these scammers don't even have the figure, they're just saying yeah. they do. That's why mm -hmm. it's a scam. Yeah. yeah. Now that's a whole different. That's a whole different conversation. Scalpers yeah. one scammer. That's a whole different conversation yeah. with me. <laughs> jail, 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 jail. Yep. This, you are good to I me. Mean, you're just out, out, and <laughs> out, just going out to hurt people. Period. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, there's I, a ton I, of scammers I, I, on, on eBay. They say that they have the God Batman damn. from Inart and. Make people huh. pay full price for it and yep. ship it yeah. later. In. Hey, man, people want to hurt people. It's not, yeah. good. not good. Well, I did recently win a waffle, actually. Ooh. So I'll have a, a waffle? Help a me. Waffle. That's a raffle. <laughs> a raffle. Oh, a wa oh. <laughs> they call them waffles. What'd you get? What'd you get? Um, I won for $40. $40, I won. Uh, I got to pick a a six scale figure and I chose Valkyrie. Awesome. Valkyrie. Now, when, when it does take place? Uh, last week. Very good. It's an Instagram one. Yeah. You know, some of, some of the streams that the community does, I should, I should like wow. make more concerted effort because a lot of times some of these streams will be giving away figures and stuff. And they'll say, okay, we'll get everybody in the chat. And a lot of times when they finally do the drawing at the end of the uh, stream, half of the people aren't even there. You got a really good chance of winning a figure. Mm -hmm. And somebody yeah. won a uh, uh, Captain Carter a few weeks ago. I'm like, damn it. <laughs> I should have stayed on that stream. Because yeah. because they, were, they, were, they kept going to, to the chat. Uh, uh, Bill, Bill, are you there? Bill wasn't there. They drew it again. Ralph, are you there? That was like five times and nobody was picking it up. <laughs> so oh, I'm gonna buy a for 40 bucks. That's awesome. $40. Hell yeah, dude. Ship. I'll let for 500. 
Sell it for 500. Yep. Trade it for a crosshair. <laughs> no, I would no, trade no. it for a crosshair, to be honest with you. Sell it for 800. <laughs> sell it for 800 on eBay. Trade it for a crosshair, then sell the crosshair for $2,000. Mm -hmm. Win win. Win win. Yeah. Win win. That'd be pretty cool. Mm hmm. Ah, uh, okay. Let's. I, I want to hold somebody's feet to the fire. Oh, blue. Huh? We're getting we're getting toward the end of the month. Yeah. Yes, we There's are. What six six more days left? Not even six more days. Yeah. What's yep. supposed to happen? We, What's supposed to happen? We've got to have that room tour. Somebody, oh. Alex, since you've been gone, somebody promised a room tour before I the end of that. the month. <laughs> and believe me, if it doesn't happen, Blue, I'm the last one that's going to give you help for I can't get this damn thing done. Uh, no, I, yeah, I'll have it done. Uh, yeah, I'm just uh, kind of don't, I'll, I, I'll be the last one to BS you on it, but you know, I, I would love to see it. Can't wait. This Batmobile will be in the middle of my living room, but uh, uh, the rest will be on sort of shelves and whatnot. Yeah. So yeah, no, 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 no rush. I won't. I won't Give us the room tour. Give us the room tour. <laughs> I, I won't heckle you for it. I'll let Alex do it from now. Just point out. <laughs> Take over for I'm going to message you every day. Where's yeah. the room tour? <laughs> where is it? Where is it at? Where is it at? Yeah. Uh, I'll do the short and I'll just kind of quickly turn around. Yeah. Everybody will see a blur. Of what, uh, <laughs> quick, quick, quick. Yeah. Yep. Well, you know, so, something ooh. I was. Uh, Oh, dude! And there's this guy. I think he came over to the uh to to uh the show uh, last week. Figure craft. He's he's been popping up in streams, and I think oh, yeah? I think he was on this stream last week. Man, I, I went to check out his channel, and he did, which I should be ashamed of myself because he's got tons of figures, but he was, was able to do a room tour, and that mm -hmm. video not even seven minutes long. His camera work, his setup, check it out, man. Figure craft. He's that's got a good. Like, some people take oh. like a good hour and a half doing yeah. those, and I think you can right. make them shorter. Like, it, my, yeah, my a be like, lot yeah. of. Yeah, he's got yeah, good. Like, look at my carpet. This is my carpet. This is, yeah, this, I don't need that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Just go straight to your spot, you know? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. This is my carpet. Yeah, this is my closet. This is my bathroom. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, TX boy, uh, it does look a room full of grails. Man. I, it, it, he's it's just a but the thing I like about it is that not just that he has a lot of really great figures, it's the way he curates his stuff. It's just mm. what's what's his name, and he uses no detox figure crafts, figure craft, no mm. detox, but his no detox. His studio is baller, bro. Beautiful. Mm. Yeah. And Jeez. he seems like a genuinely really, really nice guy. He's he's got he's got a smoother delivery than Beam. I know Beam talks really like Clint Eastwood. Well, he's he's got a very similar voice. Nice and cool. It looks cool and it looks different than what most people. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I like about it too. That's the main thing I like about it. It doesn't look like everybody. He's uh, yeah, he's no joke. Yeah. He's no cool joke. Stuff. Nice stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, I, Dab I dabbles I, in stop motion too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He dabbles in stop motion. Yep. Yeah. As a matter of fact, oh, you know, Beam, I was gonna send you a guy I found that does a stop motion that I think you like. Nice. Let me send it to you. I'm gonna look it up and send it to you. All in the open, opposed. Well, each fig really good. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, bathroom is important. Jim does. <laughs> yeah, y'all ain't y'all gonna see my bathroom. No. Well, I tell yeah. you, I, you know, the guy that I work with, his wife's got anime plastered all over his bathroom. <laughs> my my collection tour was like almost fifteen minutes, I think. That's that's decent, but, but yeah, one hour and a half. <laughs> yeah, that's mm. that's crazy. That's yeah, and, and if it's if it's got to be that long, just break it up into parts. Right, yeah. and mine's gonna be like I said. Mine's gonna be like two, three minutes, maybe. That's good. It's all, it's all here and here. <laughs> I mean, you know, just a quick pan. There you go. Yeah, yeah. bing, bing, bing. Oh, pause it. it if you need to pick out the pickers. Which one? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mine you need to see him. Pause it. 
<laughs> yeah. Mine'll be pretty quick too. <laughs> Eventually, when I move, it'll, I'll expand out. But I, I'm good. I at a point now. I got figures in boxes that I have no room for. I'm like, I can't have that. At least not this, not that many. But uh, I like what I got so far. We'll just keep it going. Nice. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, um, Alex, what's what's uh, what's up down the road? Do you, uh, anything coming in that you or anything that you're eyeing that you that's looking real delicious to you? Hey, man, I I have more helmets, more helmets coming. Okay. I don't know when, but more helmets <laughs> coming. I think I told you that I have a scout trooper on pre-order, two okay. Darth Vader helmets. Oh, yeah. I try to get an AT 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 pilot AT -AT? helmet over this weekend, but yeah. it was impossible. They only make 200 and oh, no man. way of getting it and it was very pricey it was going to be like I, I was going to pay the deposit and then think about how to pay it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but that more of those figures that i showed you like i'm really liking those those figures i'm i'm like very nostalgic right now i don't know why like i want toys that i yeah didn't have as a kid mm -hmm. so i want to start looking for for that kind of stuff and McFarland's McFarland's getting ready to drop statues. Some more statues. He's he's dropping statues of sports figures. He's uh, and I believe he's getting he's doing sports, and I think he's gonna start doing some comic book stuff. But yeah, he's 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 back in the statue game. That's cool. Yeah, he's been pumping them out. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm I'm waiting for those. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're nice because just like with your your environment, they'd be just you know they're only like I think they're I don't know how tall they actually are. Maybe they might be seven inches or. I'm liking that scale. Like I was telling, like I yeah I can fit so many figures in a small space. I'm it's thinking like, about you know, doing that like too. That just going with some just a you know just a little small little section. You know. Yeah, like one sixth bit. is awesome. Like I love that scale, but those smaller ones are. They look more like toys, and I think I like that. Yeah. Oh, and I have a Goku statue coming probably like in nice. April. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's a spec fiction, so maybe in two years. Yeah, I'm still waiting oh, for those. Two. I was gonna <laughs> order that, by the way. That's a big. The, the, the Goku and Frieza. No, no, no. The Siberian Customs. Oh. Simon Phoenix. Yeah. But then you had that Gandalf hopper. <laughs> well, you're gonna be happy. Like, like I, I'm gonna I'm... go with Gandalf instead. Yeah. It was, yeah. I'm glad you you picked that up for me. Siberian customs. Yeah, Simon. Yeah, Simon Phoenix. Phoenix. It looks good. The sculpt seems a bit off, but oh yeah, yeah. It's just still uh, pretty damn good. Pretty good. Would, be, would, would, have, would have been pretty cool to have. Yeah, but I think I missed the boat on that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd rather take the blade sculpts, kind of repaint it a little bit, and uh, yeah. Um, and then put the hair, hair on them and make that yeah. assignment because uh, the Siberian Customs ones, the head sculpt wasn't that great. So, speaking of so so, oh, come so on, come on, so so. I need to see that. Uh, I need to see your blade. Get it out. Come on. Yeah, that would be nice. But I, I, I didn't, I couldn't remember that Simon Phoenix was from Demolition Man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Had to look that up. <laughs> yeah, good old demolition oh, oh. man. Thanks for coming. Three, uh, just three seashells. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh yeah, you're out of toilet three paper. <laughs> <laughs> Order four this year. Kimball says. Awesome plane. Oh, okay. Damn. Oh yeah, it's slow, slow toy. I remember that. Yeah, it's slow, slow. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody, somebody used uh, one I hadn't heard before. Um, side slow. Side slow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> side slow. I like shit I like shows that. Shit, shit show and side yeah. yeah, shit show is great. I love shit show. Side slow, but side slow is pretty good. It's the the PG thirteen version. Yeah. Yeah, but you can make so many <laughs> different things out of to to toilet bowls, wonderful world. I mean you can you can just come up with all kinds of names. Yeah, so many good clowns. <laughs> Well, five what? shows earn the moniker of uh, shit show. So. Yeah, shit show deserves to be the shit show. Yes, 
Yeah. Same with uh, Turd Wonderland. So yeah. Good old like I, I ordered for the first time to of Big Bad Toy Store. I hear they were pretty bad. They were pretty good. Really? Mm. Yeah. Pretty bad at getting stuff out. Yeah, like I heard that they didn't ship stuff in time and I haven't had like I've, 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 yeah, I've purchased from them a few times, haven't had the issue yet. And no issues. Like they were super fast. They shipped with yeah, FedEx. I've never had an issue. It was it was good. Nice. I haven't had it. To be honest with you, I haven't had an issue with anybody until you know, over the holidays. KG kind of pulled a little quick one on me, but they they made up for it. As a matter of fact, KG might be the place I shop at most. I don't I don't care for the Hong Kong mail because it takes two weeks, but at right. least yeah. these guys are consistent. They usually will get the figure off within a day, or at least process it. So mm -hmm. it's out of their hands. When it gets to Hong Kong Post, that's a whole nother story. Yeah. Got to wait in their distribution center for them to, you know, get it into the system. But for the most part, uh, one of my favorite places, and, and their prices are awesome. So KG is one place that I, I do a lot of my business at. Not the only place, but one of the places. Oh, later, Trimble. Bye-bye. I, I stick with See Kit. You, you stick with who? Kit? You can. See you, Trimble. Take care. I, I look at Kit from time to time. I just can't. I, they just don't get the figures down to the price I, I want them at. I, I just can't. I can't. But, but Kit, Kit is good. Sometimes he he's a little rude when you ask some, some stuff, but he's yeah. he's, he's good. Yeah. He's good. Sometimes he's a little what? Rude. Rude. Like yeah. Sometimes he's not like the most okay attentive yeah guy out there, but he's he's good. He must be doing enough. I mean, he's like I emailed him and told him yeah, like, no, I'm gonna no. I'm gonna I'm gonna change my shipping address. For a friend that I'm gonna send the Gandalf to, and yeah. he was like, "If it's not on your PayPal, I'm not gonna ship it." Blah blah blah. I'm like, "Yeah." Who said that, that it's not gonna be on my PayPal, man? Like, why, why, why do you have to reply like that? <laughs> yeah. yeah, and that's the other thing, man. You know, do they respond? That's the other yeah. thing about KG. KG Kit, will Kit respond responds. to me within. Yeah, Kit responds open, super fast. If they're mm -hmm. open, I I shoot them an email. I usually get a response within the hour, two hours. Yeah, bad. They're they're really good at getting back to you. Um, yeah, but there's a, there's some, some, um, stores in the States floating around that I'm looking at doing business with, cause I don't have to deal with, uh, waiting a long time for it to ship hmm. and prices are reason I'm finding now that some of these comic book stores, you might want to start looking at yeah, Be <clears throat> because they're not selling six skills on a regular like tons of them the six scales that they that they do have man a lot of times when they go on sale i saw some stuff on sale i, I was really some, tempted i said sometimes. i better slow down but you <laughs> got to check out some of these mom and pop comic book stores that's if it's if they're not keeping track of how much they're worth exactly and that's the other thing you why you want to do that because they're Really concentrating more and more, and they got a hell of a lot more inventory on everything else that they got to worry about. They're yeah. not sitting down being that discreet with these these six scales. They they're worried about comics and the smaller figures. So, like I said, yeah, just sometimes a sometimes a bit some of advice. Shops, sometimes yeah. some some shops just want them out the door. So they, they just want them out the door. Yeah. So, uh, mm -hmm. uh, folks out there, I would stress that you know check out some of your comic book stores not necessarily the figure shops but the comic book stores yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah life's good mm. yeah yeah but that's about uh i think about it, that's all we got for today mm -hmm. there wasn't a whole lot else other than <coughs> hot toys being hot toys and shit show a and, anybody got any predictions anything dropping i think dropping well he just dropped they just uh, released the Tyler and Johnson. So, uh -huh, you got, uh -huh, I would you got say, what do you think? What do you think is possible? What seems logical? Oh, there's so next? much that's possible. The only, yeah, the only thing they have, the only thing they have on that list is the Clone Trooper. Yeah, from Obi Wan. First one. But there's okay. so much that's supposed to be come out between March and June right now. Right. Yeah. But this, uh, uh, um, but this latest, um, upcoming releases. 
is like the only one they've actually stuck to yeah. and didn't go uh, on the list. Delay. And then not on the list, not on the list. Yeah. On the list. This, this was like strictly all on the list. Mm. Pretty much. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Hopefully they'll do another upcoming release and. Uh, yeah, they will. They only do one a year. <laughs> yeah, they, won't. they only do one a year. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Or two, one at the beginning, one at the end. Yeah. Well, Umbra was in that was a release. <coughs> oh yeah, yeah. I'm true. Do you see that Magneto, Alex? Oh, that looks pretty good. Yeah, yeah I like that. Dude, awesome. That one looks really cool. Yeah. I wish it would have came with different head sculpt though. Yeah, but, but yeah, it's pretty yeah, good. You're not I, restricted. That's the one part about it. Mm. Yeah. Like that yeah. line is going to be really awesome. If they really I, I, can't, love seeing... I can't wait till at least one of these figures get into somebody's hands. I, I I, 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 It'll I, be the Wolverine really, first, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, love, I loved it. And that X Men 97 is pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it's actually yeah. Yeah, the it show is good. great so far. Yeah. Yeah. But I still like. I I really want to hear if kids like it. That's that's what I'm right. waiting. Like on. I really want to know because we are very nostalgic and <laughs> we grew up with it. I mm -hmm. want to see if a kid watches it and is like, man, that's the best thing ever. Yeah. Mm. My kids don't watch the same stuff I do, so ah, we can't use them as experiments. <laughs> as guinea pigs. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, sometimes they'll sit down and watch what I'm watching, but but no. it's a great show. Like the animation looks incredible. Yeah. I had to go and watch yeah. the the series finale from. Yeah. Well, show. well, are your mm -hmm. kids big in anime, uh, Beam? Yeah, they are. Good, good kids, good yeah. kids. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, they got they're the ones that got me into um, One Piece, so. One Piece is good. I still like Dragon Ball the best out of everything, though. And, well, Dragon Ball is the best. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, the guy the that died, uh, he's, he was kind of considered like the Stan Lee of Dragon Ball, right? He was the creator. He wrote creator, a yeah. lot of the stuff. He yeah. did all of that stuff. Huh? Yeah. And he was, he was super young, wasn't he? In his 40s or early No, 40s? 60s. Oh, you said it's still young. Yeah, like was 68. It, was it, okay. Was it uh was it cancer? I, I know that stroke. the community was like, wow, how did this come happen all of a sudden? What was it? It was a stroke. Oh wow. Yeah, an aneurysm. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. It was What's sad. It, and I just started it? collecting Dragon yeah. Ball figures and he died. So mm. I'm never oh, gonna man. start a new line again. <laughs> yeah, and it, it, that's, that's yeah, and the, yeah. The, the, depending upon the severity of the strokes, more and more people are are surviving them now. Yeah, you know, and 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 coming back like there was a time you you suffered a stroke, you might come back with all your limbs, but your your mouth might stay frozen. You might talk funny, for, mm -hmm. but my brother had a stroke about three years ago. They treated him. I mean, he's like it's like it never happened. That's great, man. I'm glad to hear. Like it Good. never happened. Yeah. yeah. Good deal. Mm -hmm. So the medicine's getting better. Yeah. Just you know, you gotta, you gotta. They talk about how uh, we as guys don't, you know, take care of us. Man, I'm, I'm in hot. The doctors, if I, if I feel like something's not right, I'm yeah, the best you can do. I go to. Uh, I have to go to regular checkups every six months. But yeah, you should. You gotta take care of yourself. You should be safe. Like if they detect everything on time, yeah. you're gonna live a happy long life. I'm yeah. having too much fun, you know. I want to continue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like yep. and, and 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 you might go, but the people who end up suffering is your family, man. Like exactly. Yep. Yep. Yeah, better to take care of yourself. And then yeah. And then Moral of the up. story: Go to your doctor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And if nothing else, even if you don't get get your collection insured. Talk to loved ones, you know, around you. Somebody you can talk to. Go, hey, listen. If I'm out of here, I'm turning this over to you and do whatever. You, but you, you should have a contingency plan for your collection. Yeah. You too too much my time. Life. Melt it all down and make an urn out of it. <laughs> <laughs> too much time and money. Carry me with everything. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah. 
but too much time mm-hmm. and money to to mm-hmm. not take it seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. 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 But yeah, that's about it. Mike, you got anything coming up, man? Nothing in particular. Like I'm going to be kind of random, though. I, I, like I said, I'm, I would like to get out. Kind of random. Sh- yeah, <laughs> real random. I love to get out some shorts. You know, uh, just getting that the the video part of what I'm doing is the hardest yeah. to get time to do. Doing anything yeah. on video, filming anything, it's just that's the difficult part. I need to just come up on live and free wheel it a little bit. I'm thinking about coming up live and just free wheel it. Yeah. But uh, as of right now, no, nothing as of yet. Um, yeah. So I, I guess I'll see you guys here uh, next Monday. Chat, thanks for coming in again. Yeah. yeah. Um, Alex, oh, oh uh, I'm sorry. Um, I will be invading target and walmart this weekend i haven't been doing that very often and if uh feces uh uh sees this uh i am looking out for those uh turtles that you want when i go into target feezy i'll make sure I'll, i look out for you see if if they have they <laughs> normally have tons of turtle stuff at my target whether or not they have that particular one i don't know but i will check for you feezy. if any of you like now that you say turtles if any of you over there see the turtles from the 90s from NECA? Okay, them. so what are you looking for, Alex? Uh, uh, just uh, anything from the 90s? No, the, the 1990 movie Ninja Turtles from NECA. Okay. If you guys see them, I don't know if they're in stock or if they're already sold out. But Do I me a favor, them. Alex. When you find find a picture of it... And I'll send it to you. Throw it over, put it over in, into the collective figure. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll send you a picture. Instagram yeah, or something. I, I, I want those. Walmart's and, where I got mine. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. I really put want that those over there, I'll, and, and I'll and I'll and I'll make sure I keep an eye out. Everywhere and, I find them, they anybody are else looking for any smaller figures? Beam, you looking for anything or no? No, I usually like I usually like finding the stuff in the wild. So, yeah, if I find it, yeah. If you find them, let me know, and I'll yeah. PayPal you. <laughs> we'll do. Don't 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 scam me, people. Over the, the chat, don't don't, buy <laughs> oh, don't spam paid, them right. Yeah. I was at Walmart and I paid three hundred dollars. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> here's the money. For, here's one hundred for the trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm sending the picture now. Yeah, those are the ones that I'm looking cool. for. You like the first movie ones, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I want those. I like the ones with the ninja. Outfit, but I want the first one. Uh, yeah, I gotta check Walmart to see if those salmon rays are still there. Yeah, those ones are pretty cool. I kind of wanted those too, but we'll yeah, see. those are cool. They're usually you around have... sixty bucks for the four pack. Oh, that's, that's usually, pretty decent. Usually, and they sell them on eBay for two hundred net. <laughs> okay, so Damn. now still need yeah, this, this, this particular line of of of. Uh, Ninja Turtles hasn't been produced by anybody else, has it? Just NECA, I think. Okay. No, this is good enough. I, I just wanted to make sure I got the packaging right because I, I, I don't know what there, there should be a other. package here. Let me let me look it up. There should be a picture. I just want because you know there's a lot of four packs with the turtles. I just want to make sure I don't pick up the wrong thing. Here's a picture of the package. Wait. Cool. And then I'll just. I'll snapshot it and have it on my phone when I go to uh, Target and Wall. Appreciate it if you find them. Hey, you're muted, bro. Me? Oh. Beam is. You're muted. You're still muted. You're still muted. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Now you're. Yeah. Sometimes they're in two packs. So. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, really? That the same? Uh, the movie brand? Yeah. Sometimes okay. they're in two packs. Okay. One of those. Been cool. wanting them for a long time. Really? Yeah. They did a really good job on those turtles. They did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What really outlets do you have, Alex? Uh, there is Target in Colombia. No, no, none of that. None Toys of that. R Us. No. Where Nothing do you go? Like... Where do you Where do you go for your figures uh, uh, aside from online? Online. online. Everything? Everything online. Yeah, and I did the same thing in Mexico. Everything online. 
Like there were places in Mexico, like Mexico has a bigger market for this kind of stuff. I would have thought. But they're expensive. People take uh, advantage of you because yeah. it's not easy to find. So yeah. I don't know. I figure that it's 30 bucks in Walmart. They will sell it for a hundred. Right. It's just and like, God knows there's tons of bootleg. And exactly. <laughs> like, you don't even know if you got the real thing. Yeah. Yeah. Mexico. Mexico is the king. Oh, of my God. So they're they're no choice. Did you even yeah. find those falling through certain outlets? There was a um, a figure, and I can't remember which one it was. I think it was a Batman figure. And it was like Filipino writing on it. <laughs> hmm. What the heck is it? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> maybe, maybe they got the Filipino version, but who knows? Maybe it's fake. But, but yeah, in Mexico, you have to be very careful. Yeah, because I know that they also you you can find they do do this a lot in the Philippines. They do um, six scale figures, mock figures, and stuff. Yeah. With yeah, this man. with these figures that I'm collecting now, like you have to be like there's so many fakes out there. Yeah, you have to check the 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 seal from Bandai. You have to check the box for. You want to make sure it's not a fugazi. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Exactly. But yeah, it was fun uh, being here. That was a great, yeah. great movie. Great Donnie Brasco. You guys yeah. ever see Donnie? Oh, yeah, I, I love, love that movie so much. Al Pacino and Johnny Depp. That, that's, that's a fugazi. <laughs> that <was> pretty good. <laughs> what a great movie. You got anything coming up, Alex? Ah, just my regular videos that I've been uploading to Instagram and TikTok. Yeah. TikTok, that's disappearing soon. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, but just just that my 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 videos in Spanish. Yeah, like yeah. like them even if you don't understand them. <laughs> well, yep, that's all I do. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. I pick yeah, up a few words here and there, but... Oh yeah. And I still I still check out you know when, when you like uh, Alex will post an Instagram video or he's like doing a movie review or something. I have no idea what he's what he's talking about, but I like watching them and just listening to him talk. Because you, know, you got a great voice and a, just a great cadence. So I'm oh, like, why did it? I'm like, oh, yeah, that's cool. Okay, Alex. Yeah. So I sound like the aliens from Mars Attack? I saw, no, you got you, you have a very pleasant voice. You got a good speaking voice. But that's probably why you're in the, you know, the filmmaking business. Do you do voiceovers as well? No, 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 no. Just behind the camera stuff. You've got that, you've got that certain raspiness. Oh, thank you. that you don't find a lot. So you got a very distinctive voice. That's thank right. you, thank you. I hope it takes me somewhere. I hope okay. it takes me somewhere. <laughs> well, it took you to Colombia. That's what. <laughs> 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 Next stop. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Uh, quick shout out to the chat for coming in. Um, Commander Green, Tijuana Mike, uh, Flavio's House of Collectibles, Maz's Toy Box, uh, Luminaro was in the chat. Uh, Texas Boy 210 or 210. Yep, 210. I think that's what the TX stands for, Texas Boy. I'm hoping I'm not wrong there. Tremble Dust. Good old Tremble. Uh, Windman 42. I haven't seen that name in a while. It's good to see oh, him yeah. here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's been a um, Who else was here? Maz. There's some folks that's been know. missing for a while, too. Where, where is, you know, I'm, I'm concerned. Uh, I'm concerned about the... some guy. Yeah, I haven't seen some guy. Uh, some we guy we did get up to 24 viewers, so uh, all did you we? viewers out there, thank you. Thank you for awesome. watching. Thank you all for right. coming. Appreciate you. Supporting the channel. Nice. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button. Mm -hmm. Any lurkers, if you aren't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button too, please, because at 750 <laughs> subs, we are giving away that $75 gift card to shit show. So, um, By the yeah. way, by or the way, else, they, maybe I don't know. Yeah. By the way, people do watch this stream. I was, <laughs> I was watching, and Beam, you you showed up in the chat just after John, it was Justin talked McFly, about. Just McFly. Go ahead. I was on. I was on the chat. Uh, uh, Joao, uh, show the other morning, mm -hmm. and just before you popped into the chat, Joao said, "I was watching <laughs> some stream." 
uh, somebody talking about my voice. He said I was uh, a villain. I was like a torture <laughs> chamber. And yeah. I'm like, ah, <laughs> Joe, I was watching. Joe, I was watching. Yeah. <laughs> it's either that or he got told. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. But he said, but he, he made the remark. He said he was funny. So yeah, yeah he did. Like, yeah, people know when I, if they take yep. me seriously. Yeah, James Bond villain is what you had said. Yeah. Yeah. Or <laughs> I, I said it was like, he sounded like a voice that would, you know, do well in a torture chamber. I am yeah. here to pull out your toenails. I mean, he just sounds, he sounds like a villain. He's got a great mm. voice for her, like, just sounds evil. <laughs> Mr. Bull. Oh, and then poor Helen, she just gets asked to, uh, to uh, say the uh, Bad what? Batch names all the time mm. because of her oh, uh, yeah, Australian yeah. accent. I think those three have a great chemistry. Yeah, they do. They really do. And I was mm -hmm. actually feel, fe feeling for Christian. I love the fact, because he reminds me of me when I was younger like that, when I discovered particularly something in the area of science fiction or whatever, and it just took me over. I love the fact that he's gotten so entrenched in Dune that it's literally it's taking him over. And Joao was just hit, hit. I'm like, oh, come on, why are you squashing this guy's joy? I mean, he he's been overwhelmed. He has been. Oh, he said he's literally just, you know. And I think that's wonderful. Better than Star Wars. I was like, okay, it's 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 wonderful. I I, I want to have that feeling again, where like something new comes along, or even if it's not new, something I wasn't exposed to, and it just like wipes me out. Do you guys watch Dune? I oh, haven't. Dude. I haven't seen. The Still only reason why I haven't seen. Yeah, the only reason why I haven't seen two is because I want to see it in IMAX, but there's nothing in the city, just mm -hmm. outside of, and I have oh, to okay. coordinate the time because I don't want to see it standard. Yeah. I really want to see IMAX. It's. I love it. I I, I know I I'm gonna it. love it. I loved it. I loved. I watched it twice already. It's. I love so the first one. I'm a big but fan. But is it on par of being better the trilogy than Star Wars, even though it's not a trilogy? Yeah. Well, no, it's like I, I, I made a, like a quick video and people got angry at me because I compared it to the impact that Lord of the Rings had on Star Wars. Okay. But it's not like there's nothing to compare it with for story-wise and, and characters because they're completely different. Like there's, yeah. I don't see anyone in Dune to be likable and and to be like that that real friendship that you see in star wars or, or yep. right 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 towers right. but still it's a great sci-fi story and and we don't see those anymore like everything we see is superheroes uh mm -hmm. sequels of something and this is fresh it's it feels new and different and i think like i think you guys will like it you're gonna oh, get I, I, I'm I'm already I'm already in. I know I'm gonna love it. It it's really good and it feels different, and I think that that makes you appreciate it even yeah. more because it's not like the rest of movies that you are seeing all year. Yeah. It's a slow burn. It's a good movie. It's, it's it, good it, to the see very first one, the one in '84 was a slow burn. Loved it. Yeah, slow burns good. don't. It's slow good. burns don't uh, don't bother me if the dialogue is there. But man, yeah, but to have a slow like, going right. movie with long scenes and no words. Woo. All of us grew up in a different time. Like, yes. Well, right now, like they have an attention span that is that's two seconds <laughs> long. If, if yeah. that, that's yeah, why like, TikTok is king. If, if, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> if, if stuff don't start exploding on screen, the five, the first five seconds, they yeah. they're lost. So. Mm -hmm. And this one is a very contemplative movie. Like you get to see these long shots and you have to look at different spots of the frame to know where the action is going. So it, it's it's a good movie. It, it and, reminded and it, me like Lawrence of Arabia. Oh, well, people have compared it to that. Yes, absolutely. Really? Well, really? Yeah, yeah, uh, I think it was, uh, what is his name? Is it Chattel? One of the other guys on another uh, uh, stream, Midnight Midnight's Edge, said okay. that exact same thing. Lawrence it, of Arabia. It's like that. It's like very watch the space. And that's enjoy a it. Great Nothing's movie happening. And then something Lawrence goes crazy. Yeah. And it's it's a very good movie. But it's not it's not better than Star Wars. What I don't get is why they are comparing Polytreatus with Anakin. Like I don't yeah, I, yeah, I don't follow. It's it's just it's just kind yeah, of it's a, kind of weird. 
It's kind, it's of, kind of a, a human thing to do. It's it doesn't really matter really because they're they're just two totally different worlds. Yeah, they're completely different worlds. <laughs> like, All, yeah. Although, although George Lucas got his inspiration, some of his inspiration for Star Wars from Dune yeah. and books. Yep. So I mean, but but at the same time. You don't you don't relate the two. I I, I, I yeah, when I, mean, I watched when I watched the first one in eighty four, the first Dune, and and then I compared it. I was like, this is just two totally different worlds. I can't. I, I yeah, I like it's just inspired by. Yes, it's like saying like a game when, when people were comparing like oh Game of Thrones is a rip off of Lord of the, Lord of the Rings. It's not. It's not. Right. It's just because it's, it's not. It's not. Yeah. Good. Wow. <laughs> that person will need yeah. to be slapped. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. <laughs> like, they're, yeah, just looking, they're just totally looking at the. They're just looking at the environment. Yeah. Oh, there's a knight. Oh, there's knights yeah. in that one. Yeah. There's a dragon. Well, there's a dragon over there too. Yeah. Oh, there's a worm. There's a sandworm. Rip off. Right. <laughs> yeah. Totally took that from Beetlejuice. Yeah. <laughs> Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. <laughs> oh, real quickly before we do. You've been to Saturn. I've been to Saturn. Yeah. Before we do the final sign off, not that I was a big fan. I never really was. I enjoyed the movie, but. How are you guys feeling about the upcoming Beetlejuice movie? I want to see it. Yep. Just as much Alex, as I want to see you're Dune, a Beetlejuice fan. Are you looking see. forward I, to it? I am 50 50. I'm, I'm getting tired of Hollywood trying to milk us with nostalgia. I'm, I'm a little tired of that. Hmm. But it's been such a long time for this movie to happen that I think yeah. that they waited for a good story to tell. Yeah. So. It's been I'm happening excited. for years. They've been talking yeah, about it. I, yeah. I'm 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 not really excited, but I'm looking forward to it. Like I think it might be it might be good, but it can be terrible. Like if they right. like Tim Burton just is not because a good it's filmmaker Burton's anymore. yeah, just because of his track record lately. Yeah. 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 My my thing is not so much I'm not so much concerned. I, I as a matter of fact, I'm glad that we're just in, in, in drenched in nostalgia because I feel like I haven't aged a whole lot. My problem is they're just not doing it good. No. You know, because Hollywood has done nostalgia forever. They there's yeah. never been a time they didn't. It they're just not creating anything new. But you know what, Mike? Like right now it's it's an abuse of nostalgia. Like they rely yes, it is so much in nostalgia to create anything. Like you only see yeah. old franchises coming back and you don't see anything new. And yeah, when yeah. something new comes, it's shadowed by the, the the new superhero movie and nobody pays attention to everything. And it's mm -hmm. it sucks for new filmmakers because they're never going to get the attention, even if they make something good, because the studios are not helping them out. Mm -hmm. Right. It's, it's sad. like, and I, I don't have anything against Marvel or DC. Like, I don't I like it. But still, like, I think that it's time for the studios to pay attention to other stuff, too. Mm -hmm. There's room for everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just so much out there. And and yeah. but the IPs that they do have, those IPs are deep, and they're only scratching the surface of those IPs. Yeah. Wednesday was all right. Wednesday was good. I, I didn't. I I didn't give it. A shot. I don't know how much involved Tim Burton was on that. Like I think mm. he directed like the first episode. Mm. Uh, uh, I think yeah, I think it was other people after that, but I think he. Helps maker, or he was a producer, maybe something like that. He was a showrunner, and he didn't pay yeah. much attention to. It. But look, <laughs> it was it was good. But yeah, I don't know. Like I think that we need more more stuff, more fresh stuff. I loved when we were younger in a superhero movie like Spider Man would come out, and it was like this super exciting moment because nothing like that was happening. But right now, mm -hmm. it's just we know the Marvels late for the next eight years. Mm. So that reduces the excitement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Burton was an executive producer for sure. I don't know when Batman. Well, he did direct. Came out one, two, three. The world stopped. He directed the first four episodes. Okay. Oh, all right. And he was more involved than I than what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, half half this half the season. That was a good show too. I, I like. Yeah, it was fun. Mm -hmm. And I don't it think 
I, I like uh, Jenna Ortega, but I don't think she needs to be in fucking everything. No. Uh -oh. yeah, she's she's the, well, Bert and liked her, so now she's going to be. Yeah, she's be every Johnny now. Depp. Johnny Depp is too old now. For, for <laughs> and right now, she's hot. She's the, the big thing right now. And yeah. the other, this other uh, young lady is is really blowing folks away. Uh, Sweeney, Sydney Sweeney. Yeah, I don't, I don't like her. A lot of people have. I don't a, remember who she is. A, she's a good um, yeah, a lot of people. A lot of people are giving her high praises, particularly too where she wore this very provocative dress to an award show. Yeah, that's and, why most people are really into her. And they're already why you like her. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. Hold on a second. Is. Hold on a second. Here is Madam matter. What yeah. you know, you know how you have your organizations that want to cancel culture and or want to make you know women who are way pretty men now. She literally came out and said, Hey, listen, man, yeah, you could have a problem with what I'm wearing, but it was an adult event. I mean, I'm just she sounded like I'm not playing this. So she's already getting a lot of respect from a lot of people because she said she's not going to, you know, get into. Was she this. the one with the comments about Madam Webb that is like, oh, I was just in the movie. I don't know. Yeah, I, I just, I'm, I'm yeah. really I just, just kind of learning. I'm just kind of learning about her, and I and like I said, I watched a few things over the weekend. Like well, I said, Virgo, everybody's so you know saying how she's gonna she's gonna be the next big thing. But she's fine, a good actress, like, but I think like she's in the spotlight for the wrong reasons. Not okay, talent, and that's not cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the first time I saw Sydney Sweeney was in Handmaid's Tale. She did a pretty good. Oh, that show was good. It. That show was yeah, that bonkers fucking yeah. show. Um, yeah, and that she yeah, the movie that. was crazy. She's a good actress, yeah. but like everybody is into her because she of the uh, they uh, like uh, her uh, looks. Uh, they like yeah, exactly. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's why people are like man. But if she's if she's a if she's a good if she's a really good act, actress, it's gonna that's it's the cream is always gonna rise to the top. So I, I hope she gets you, you can't you can't deny a good well you can deny a good performance. I hope she gets the Scarlet treatment because Scarlet was very sexualized when she was younger, and yeah. but she showed that she was like she wasn't that like she was right. a really really incredible actress. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I, I, but I think, I th and I think, I think what Sweeney was kind of showing is that she doesn't want to get into this gender thing or the polit the yeah. politics of, of of Hollywood. She doesn't, mm. she doesn't fancy that, and that's cool. Yeah, I, I read an interview. It was pretty cool that she was she didn't want to, uh, yeah. uh, like being in the superhero movies because it's not her world. And hey, man, it was very yeah, and I appreciate and, that too because there's yeah. too many stars that want to jump in there. Yeah. Simply for the paycheck, and they could care less about the IP. Yeah, she was like, "I tried it, wasn't for me." Next thing, and they're like, "I respect you for saying that." Like, good that's for pretty her. Cool. Yeah, good for her. Hey, Blur Dad. Blur Dad. That's right, buddy. You made it. You made it. Doesn't matter. And then you know, oh, there's always replays. I need, a, I need a pepper pots too. <laughs> <laughs> pepper pots would be cool. Oh, the Mark yep. Nine came with her. I had it years ago. Oh, oh yeah, really nice. Yeah. I, I need her. I need that version. I want that version. Hmm. Is it is it pricey now? Uh, a little bit. Yeah. Not no, because no. I, is that I got different it for than the rescue. Is that different than rescue? <laughs> yeah, she's wearing high heels and civilian outfit. Oh, okay. Because I know you can find that rescue uh, fig now for pretty cheap. Yeah. yeah. She tries mm. so. Oh. Rough. Are you guys watching uh, Keeping Up on Shogun? Yes. You know, yeah, I yeah. haven't I haven't seen it yet. I, I and I, I binged the last really five great. episodes. I heard it's, it's really last good. night and this morning. It's fucking so good. good. I'm frozen. Yeah. The actual mini series that came out in the seventies. I was, love that show. It got it was it was great. Richard Chamberlain's yeah. awesome in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That show was um, fantastic. See, there, there are situations where remakes or updates are done well, and this is one of them, from what I'm hearing. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, not everybody's getting trashed out. A lot of a lot of really big IPs have gotten destroyed over the last yeah. couple of years, but, but this one, this one's gotten through. 
Dune has gotten through. Yeah. Yep. Dune. Blade, yeah, Runner, Dune. Blade Runner. I can't, I'm so comparing happy. Comparing that to the 84 Blade Runner got through. What was that? Was, comparing that to the 84 one, that one desperately needed one. An upgrade. Yeah. And they, but it's, yeah. thank goodness they got the right person to do it. Yeah, it, it really because it feels like a like like a like a low budget fan made film like David Lynch movie. It's 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 mm -hmm. funny. I, I like the style, but it does feel yes, like yeah. It it, it it needed the upgrade for sure. Yeah. Sure, I like the eighty four. I really did. Oh, Again, yeah. some that was something they tried to mash too many stories into one into one film, yeah. but. Um, yeah, oh, Highlander's like coming, Trumbo. Highlander's, they're making a movie out yeah, of it. Mr. Oh, Cavill. Mr. Cavill. Yeah. Yep. But the yeah. Shogun is fantastic. Like, yeah. I have no complaints with it. I, okay. Uh, last week's episode was incredible. A new one is coming out tomorrow, I think. Mm -hmm. Yep. And so be, much. Um, I got to catch at 11. I'll be so two much. Way in here. Yeah. It's a I'll, be, I'll be awake. I'll be, I'll be uh, <laughs> waiting for it to come on. <laughs> nice. It's going to be a good show. That's mm -hmm. There's some good stuff releasing, but mm -hmm. the, bad, the bad is very bad. <laughs> yes, yeah. Then you have yeah. to start. You have to start doing your like self exploration. I tell you what, I get absorbed. I get absorbed. I love documentaries, man. I really do. Yeah. Love documentaries, and, and because documentaries can can border on just the strangest subjects. Yeah. Like I saw this one documentary that came out several years ago. Uh, and it was about the the people who get in cosplay and and uh and they go out and they take pictures with the tourists and get tips and stuff. Some of these folks actually make a living doing it. They literally get up in their outfits every day. So they follow this one guy around who is a Christopher Reeve lookalike, and he does look like he looks like a he looks like Christopher Reeve if Christopher Reeve really wasn't quite handsome, handsome. <laughs> he looks like a sort of a distorted, but he does look like him. And they follow him and his friends all around, and there's animosity between the cosplayers. Or they go mm. to this one cosplayer's house, and there's just like, oh God, it's like a figure, collectible graveyard and stuff. It. But it's fascinating when you talk to the when you go in depth with the people. I love stuff like that. And then I'm get, get, really diving deep. YouTube has these um, these channels where these guys look for stuff that has been lost to the to, to the internet that people are looking for, like soundtracks or they talk about YouTubers who were serial killers, and they, they actually show you. And they show you, they give you the whole history behind the, like a YouTuber was really popular and to the point where, oh yeah, and they, they had to leave in 2012 because, you know, they were arrested for blah, blah, blah. blah. And the stuff, you, you, you just get really deep into it, man. It's just so intense. Mm. So, so, yeah. Okay. But yeah, documentaries, man. You know, I mean, like I said, awesome. if, if stuff gets Some sad, really good. There's a lot of current stuff out there that's just trash. So uh, no, I love watching like history documentaries. Oh man, I, I love all them. different types. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah so man. much fun. I watch everything. I watch everything, like even the the worst movies. I, I, I enjoy it. I have fun. There's always something to watch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it trips me out yeah. when I discover new things out of the like from the 80s or 90s. I go, yeah. how did I get past me? Yeah, like I actually think it's 30, was 40 watching. years old. This song is 34, and I never heard it. Go ahead. I watched the uh, World War II Russian movie last week. Man, so intense. It's from 1985. Dude, one of the most messed up movies I've seen. It's about Nazis uh, invading a village in Russia and how they take everyone out. It's so realistic and wow. disturbing. And it's it's very different when you see something through not the Hollywood eyes, but more yes. the, of those raw eyes from the European filmmakers. It's very mm -hmm. and a lot of times a lot of times the survivors are still alive. Yeah. In the documentary, they'll be 101 years old. Yes, I remember when I was at Auschwitz and I like, holy cow. Yeah, it's really it, it, it hits you in a different way. But it's mm -hmm. 
it's interesting. Like it's disturbing to see what human people Triple can do. Does. But it's I oh yeah, the the the, the degrees of uh but if you guys want to watch this movie, it's called Come and See. Okay. It's it's good. It's very good. Like you guys are probably gonna have nightmares. Mm. Well, oh, I'm good. I'm good. I might I might have to pass on that one. <laughs> hey man, Schiller's list. Mm -mm. Yeah, I can I can I can go just so far, man. But man, oh, it just you know. This one I would like, compare it to Schindler's List in the level of disturbing mm -hmm. imagery that that you see. Oh, it's crazy. like it's like that, yeah. Yeah. Dang. But it's good. It's good, and I think people should watch it just because oh, yeah. I think people are forgetting that those things happen. Yeah. 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 I could, you know, I, I I would shake my head. I I would rather not see it, but. If I sit down in my eyes, I, I do get engaged. I'm like, oh. But you're a conscious person, man. Like, I think, like, I'm like, like you you yeah. know what, yeah. how stupid people can be. And you, you, you mm -hmm. know that. Yeah. Like, yeah. If you don't want to watch it, I understand. <laughs> a chance. Just don't oh, watch no, it don't with kids. Just don't watch it with kids. <laughs> <laughs> don't get me wrong. When I was younger, like. Just walk out there right now and be like, hey, put this on. I was. I, me and my. <laughs> Me and my brothers this. were huge in the war games. We played R Risk was one of my favorite games. Best board game ever. Best yep. board. Thank you, my friend. Oh yeah, my Risk god, was so much that. fun. Risk, yep. and then there were games out there, particularly geared for World War II, World War One. There was one called Panzer Blitz, killer game. Luftwaffe. These games are out cold, you guys, and these were board games. So no, I, I I've always dug like World War II and World War One kind of stuff. My father was my father on a regular was yeah, you walked into the room, it was either a cowboy flick or a war flick on TV. He loved those two. So I, I so you were in the military, right, Mike? Yeah. 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 So my, oh, dad, my dad loved cowboy movies, cowboy flicks and, and war flicks. Yeah. That's why you. That's why we were in the drive-in. We he said, you know, we're going to see the, we're going to see High Plains Drifters, son. I'm like, yeah, let's go, Dad. Going to see Clint. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> oh, yeah. We already went over three hours. Yes, we are over I, the three-hour mark. I shouldn't have come. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you been, believe me, you've been missed, buddy. Yeah, I miss you too. No, I miss you. Too. You're bringing energy to to that's unique. Oh, I miss you. You know, I appreciate all of you. So it's it's, it's mm -hmm. good being being here. It's fun. So oh yeah. Yeah, my. This was more like an after show because Beam was getting ready to put it to a close about an hour yeah. ago. And I was uh, talking that was about only about thirty minutes ago. Well, still. <laughs> no, no. Oh, the doctor talk about the documentaries. Yeah, this okay. kids <laughs> they don't know what they're doing with their lives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Stratego. Oh yeah. Oh, and I, I tried to I tried to watch that Zorro, the new Zorro show. Oh, from Prime. Zorro? I haven't seen it. Uh, really? Yeah. It's not. I couldn't get into it. I, it, it looked um, bad. Yeah, you, you can't. It that's was, an IP you can't play with, man. You can't play with Zorro. No, it, it's not good. It, it, it looked bad. Opinion. It looked bad. So this is a, a series. I don't know. Yeah. There's people out there who like it too. I was like, that's yeah. weird. Yeah. Hmm. Who's uh, uh, is the lead role played by anybody you guys know, or is it some newcomer? Or it's a Spanish guy. Who yeah, was yeah. Really oh, bad it's, it's called. Is, is it just called Zorro? I think so. Because they like to come up with these crazy names now. Where they 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 well, actually, Zorro is is pretty. It makes sense. But I mean, come on, man, Mandalorian and Grogu. Are you really gonna name that movie that? I, how lazy can it was you? on Amazon, wasn't it? Prime yeah. it was in Amazon, yeah. You, no, you, not, know, you know Disney's gonna be supposedly gonna, gonna name the Mandalorian movie Mandalorian. They are gonna name it Mandalorian. They're gonna name it that. Yep. to drag people. Yeah, it's the just uh, it's just Zorro. <laughs> just just yeah, we have run out of ideas. We have run out of imagination. And I bet you it's gonna have the worst poster that we've seen like in oh, 10 yeah. years. Oh yeah, Hollywood. They they can't. Have no yeah, they can't just call it the Mandalorian, like the movie or something like that. Yeah, maybe. but no, they gotta they gotta throw Grogu in there to catch those, uh, uh, uh you know, napped attention spanners. You know, <laughs> <laughs> kids these days. 
yeah. Squirrel. I, yeah. <laughs> well, it doesn't well, say who plays Zorro. Don Diego. <laughs> Don Diego. Yeah. Don Diego. That's that's. I, the, I, uh, I know the the. Is M- the Miguel? Yeah, is that, that's a guy. That's a guy. Bernardo? Miguel Bernadeu. The yeah. bad is Zorro. And Antonio Banderas did a good job, but the bad of Zorro was uh, Guy Williams from uh, Lost in Space. He was he he looked so great in the outfit. Awesome. He put he made an awesome Zorro. The actress from the show, like she's a Mexican soap opera actress. Okay, like she she she's pretty good looking. She's a, so she's, she's a she's a she's a major star in in Mexico. Then. Yeah, and she she is pretty good looking, but she's not well, very I'm talented. Sure. She's not very talented. Me- Me- Mexico doesn't lack in pretty women. That's for damn sure. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna send send her to you. <laughs> Heck, I even like go- we have we have a Mexican town here in Detroit. I love going down there, <laughs> walking around and. You know, sightseeing, just sightseeing. Sightseeing, yeah. <laughs> All the mamacitas, the, um, mamacitas, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but she's like untalented. Chicas, <laughs> chicas, and and Chiro. <laughs> you, you send her to the group. <laughs> yeah. No, never, never. Not to this. Not to this pit of lions. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a good friend I grew up with, and to this day, I will not introduce him to a woman. I'm not gonna let that woman be mad at me. I said, "No, dude, you're a, you are effed up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not hooking you up with anybody I know." <laughs> so my high, I got bowed to you. All right, trouble. All right, she's very talented. Right. Tell me how you has the looks, and she's talented. Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah. Very, very talented. Great and you know, so still I, very, very I, I beautiful. Yeah. Gina Carano is a beautiful woman, but please don't do blonde anymore, Gina. You look so much better, brunette. When she's blonde, she almost looks like she's twelve because she had such a baby face. You know, hmm. she seems to look. She looks a lot older with 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 dark hair, brunette hair. Can I come and kick your ass, Mike? Uh oh, uh oh. He'd like it. He'd like it. Yeah, oh yeah, you, you, <laughs> you right, I would like. But all right, y'all, we're past yeah. that three hour mark. <laughs> With that being we're gonna end it on that note. Uh, Mike yeah. wants Gina Carano to beat his ass. So. Yes. <laughs> yes, that'll do it for us. <laughs> stay safe, stay healthy, always be kind, and we will catch you on the next one. Later. <laughs>